scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. And the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do. There is a relationship between understanding and the quality of your action. He says they had an understanding of the times and they knew what Israel ought to do. Not just that they acted, but they knew what to do. We're here tonight gathered so that God will grant us the keys that will help us know what to do. Many people are acting, just taking actions that are not producing results. It's one thing to act, but it's another thing to know what to do. He says the children of Issachar, they had an understanding of the times. Then they knew what Israel had to do. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, like your candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. It's a prayer, not a song. It's a prayer, not a song. Let me know what to do. Pray. Pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. Let your light swallow up my darkness. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. The Bible says, they that stumble, stumble in the night. There is, there is no way you will stumble once there is light. Are we together now? Yeah. The Bible says, the eye is the light of the body. It says, and if your eye be full of light, right? If your eye be full of light, then, paraphrasing now, it lightens your path. But then if your eyes be darkness, there are too many people stumbling. Stumbling. I don't just want to start preaching. It's important to know that our hearts are prepared to receive. You see, this song that we just sang right now is not, it's not a special number to just make you feel emotional. I tell you, it's one of the greatest cry you can pray in this season. The Bible says the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. But the Holy Spirit is the light upon the candle. A candle is useless. Notice the way the candle lights. It keeps burning the wax. And then the light keeps coming. So the treasure in that candle is hidden inside. Are we together now? Without a fire, there cannot be light. The greater the burning of the outer sphere of that candle, the more it gives illumination. So I want you to sing this song with understanding. Father, there are... I, I confess ignorance in my life, but light me. Are you ready to sing it from your heart? Light me, Lord. 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 Light me,
God bless you. Just turn to your left and right. Generously greet someone. Night me long. Hallelujah. One of the blessings of walking with the Holy Spirit is the capacity to develop your discernment. Discernment is the spiritual quality of perception. It's the ability to perceive not just the origin of things, the spirit that engineers certain things, but also a perception of thoughts and a perception of intentions. With uh, Discernment works almost like mind reading. You are able to pick signals. Are we together now? That's why I led us to read that scripture. It says the sons of Issachar had an understanding, a perception of the times. One of the secrets, listen, one of the secrets to a life of victory is the ability to move as the spirit is moving. In the revelation of Ezekiel, and Daniel had the same revelation. It says how that the cherubs, everywhere the spirit moved, they also moved. The secret to a life of victory, the secret to a life of triumph, is to do what God is doing. Is to go where God is going. Because anywhere God is, that is where his life, his power his victory, his glory is concentrated. If God is going to the left and you are headed right, you are in trouble. If God is going right and you are headed left, you are in trouble. It's important. That's why we pray. And that's why we create an atmosphere of worship. Because among other things, we want to build discernment. The capacity to understand the speakings of the Spirit for every season. Hallelujah. And um, God has been helping us. We've been bringing teachings already that I believe are very, very applicable to our lives. And in line with the word that God has given us this year. Tonight, I want to share on something powerful. This message is very personal to me, especially in this season. Because I have seen the... Let me borrow from the words of God's servant, Bishop David Oyedepo. I have seen the capacity for sweatless triumph on the strength of what I'm about to share with you. But then I have seen how difficult the life of a man can be if you do not have this. Let me digress for a minute or two to reiterate something that I believe has been an anthem in this place. It's important to know what spiritual growth is because that's why we are gathered here spiritual growth first and foremost is the ability to conform experientially to the image of the Christ conformity conformity to the image of the Christ the second character of spiritual growth is the ability to sustain an ability where you accurately comprehend the mysteries and the secrets of the kingdom so i can know whether or not you are growing spiritually by seeing to what degree you are conforming to the image of the christ one and then the second point is i want to see how you are living your life i want to see how you interplay spiritual laws like a chef in a kitchen with raw ingredients but can give you an assurance to be patient for two hours and within those times he or she is working out something mixing the ingredients with intelligence and knowledge and after two hours sometimes what he or she is mixing will even change color they they know what to do and then they bring out a beautiful combination and it blesses everyone you are not a blessing if you do not understand the secrets of the kingdom you cannot be a blessing men rise in this kingdom through secrets we rise in this kingdom through secrets our business in this kingdom 
is the ability to trade secrets the secrets of the kingdom no matter how you brag about being spiritual if you do not know how to handle the secrets of the kingdom to produce the results that are required you are wasting your time and you will eventually get frustrated no matter how confident you sound now and what a joy to have a ministry and a platform by his grace that can afford us the opportunity to rise to a point where we understand the secrets of the kingdom this is what we teach every time and tonight you're about to learn one i pray that you not only add it to the list of the mysteries you may have had and are not using but that you pay attention to it because it may be the one key that is required in this season to bring prophecy to manifestation hallelujah can you pray for one minute and say lord open my eyes open my eyes open my ears Tonight I'm teaching on what I titled the gift of men. The gift of men. Ephesians chapter 4. The gift of men. I want to share with you and unlock to you a mystery behind strange breakthroughs. The mystery or a mystery really not just a mystery but one of the kingdom secrets that controls what i will call a quantum leap in a man's life hallelujah i want to share with you a mystery that is responsible for the sudden explosion in the life and destinies of individuals businesses ministries and all of that please pay attention the gift of men Ephesians chapter 4 your spirit opens to me the treasures of your world and I will forever sing your praise your spirit opens to me the treasures of your I will forever sing your name. I will sing. I will sing of the wonders of your world. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your world, and I will forever sing your praise. Seven and eight, Ephesians four, seven and eight. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore, he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and did what? Gave gifts unto men. Those gifts are not talents. Those gifts are not the gifts of the spirit. Those gifts are people. When he ascended up on high, he gave men to men. There are men called gifts. Are we together? The gift here is not anointing. The gift here is not talent like word of knowledge. No, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. When you read all through the context of Ephesians 4, you never see the mention of anything anointing or gifts of the spirit. Uh-uh. He gave gifts unto men. Where is your own? Because the Bible says he gave gifts 
unto men and he says anyone who has that gift will come into a level a stature he calls it are we together he gave gifts unto men fast forward all the other verses he says to the end because of those gifts that we come into the fullness of the measure of the expectation the stature of christ meaning there is a gift i must receive there is a dimension of the operation of the spirit i must receive in men to be able to rise to that level please pay attention everything on earth today happens because of one single entity called man the wars in the world today happen because of man the peace experienced by nature by nations have been brokered by men listen to me the poverty that we experience in africa and other parts of the world have been caused and have been sustained by men the wealth and abundance that have been experienced in our world today have been engineered by men the economic system that our civilization currently runs on was designed and is sustained by men the policies that govern the progress or the slavery of individuals and territories were carefully decided upon and prepared by men the only reason why there are still human beings on earth is because there are still men the reason why there is hatred in the world is not because there are animals is because there are men. the only reason why every other thing works you say i'm a real estate mogul no land does not give anybody money people love the land so the land becomes expensive everything revolves around men please pay attention i want to share with you a powerful mystery koinonia is running today not because jesus is lord but because there are men. the radio station thrives because at the other end of the broadcast there is a human ear not an animal ear not a monkey or a dog ear a human ear to listen there is an armed robber planning to rob today and his mission looks realistic because of the existence of men how come the entire civilization of mankind run in, yet we never study them we study clothes we study oil we study every other thing but we never pay attention to men let me show you a wise man who did what we should be doing psalms 8 hello madonna psalms 8 hello madonna David was called up a man after God's heart. Listen, it was not just Solomon alone that was wise. David was very wise. He said, Oh Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Listen, who has set thy glory above the heavens? Read on, please. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast ordained strength because of thy enemies, that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. Three when i consider the heavens the work of thy fingers the moon think about it which thou has ordained for what is man that thou art mindful you took your time to create everything for him you created the sun the moon you put protection you made sure plants produced so god there is what is man what was in your mind when you were designing this entity called man that even you god 
will not rest. Why? That is all God thinks about in heaven. Do you know God does not think about his glory? I know what he's thinking about now. Man, think about it. Sister, if you are aware, brother has been thinking about you from morning till night. I think it's a cause to smile. That shows you are valuable. What is man that thou art? It didn't say brain full, mind full. Your mind is full. Right? What's that song? He will not suffer my foot to be moved. I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. So what is mine? He never say who is man. He's not talking about the personality of man. What strategy did you design that you called man? I know his personality, but Lord, what is the use of the? Could you not replace him with something? Listen, read the Bible. God has replaced many things with many things. But God has been unable to find a replacement for man. To an extent that no matter how bad man was, God will come and say, we will fix it. Even the man himself, after working them, he still preserved others. There must be more in this mystery called man. You know what is in a bank. That's why they protect it. You know what is in the earth. That's why we put NMPC to guard it. But we do not know what is in this entity called man. What is man? I put it in a better way. What is in man that thou art mindful of him? Can't you just waste them away and build another species? Lord, are you, are you so dull? After you created man, did you lose your sense of creativity? Why do you want to so fix him? Why can't you just replace him? Can't you put a mind in chairs? What is man? That thou art mindful of him. Not the son of man. That as glorious as heaven is. You are not comfortable. So you come to visit him. To an extent that you make that man your temple. That man your temple. Your temple. It's like Donald Trump coming to live. Somewhere at the back of this place. And he says believe me you cannot get the joy. And he said no 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 no. I mean you have everything you need. Let's sing that song again. God, we are, we are, we are flying this night. He will not suffer my foot to be I carry your presence everywhere. Oh my, you can be so true of me. Oh, God, you Jimmy, Moses had died when Archangel Michael came to carry his body. Lucifer also came wanting the body. The guy had died, they were fighting over the body. What was in the body? Don't just say it's your spirit alone that is important. Listen to me. What is in this body? that Jesus is interested in Satan is interested why do demons look for human bodies what in a body L listen listen what, what happens to them when they are in a body you must understand this I will show you a mystery that will change your life we look for oil and ignore men we protect oil wells and leave men. Think how foolish we are. We put fence around land but leave men and ignore them and kill them and burn them and we want to move forward. The psalmist said, I have already considered the ground. I consider the oil fields. <clears throat> I consider the sun. I consider uh -uh. I, I found out your attention is on this entity. So God, please tell me what is man that you are mindful of him if i have a safe 
with a million dollars and i'm hiding it if you touch any other thing i won't say anything but if you are coming near there i'll be shifting back that's how it is satan noticed every other thing he touched god didn't bother but the moment he started coming to man his attention batters that man and then jesus himself came and walked upon the earth they asked jesus why did you come he said to die <laughs> what kind of assignment is that went to the cross and the people he was dying for were not even repentant yet he was not angry there is more to me and you i will show you something today that will make you never hate any human being i will show you something today that will make you see that your prosperity is in the hands of man what is man the most abundant secret to our blessing moves around us every day yet we we can trade it a thousand times to look for oil we can trade it a thousand times to look for whatever it is. We protect things more than men. We would rather kill men than kill things. If 100,000 people die, listen, and Nigeria's oil field is protected, we think we are still alright. Listen, I want you to think about this for a moment. Just imagine that everyone at the same time in the world falls into a state of coma except you. Listen. Do we have intelligent minds in this place? Imagine that not death. Everybody simultaneously, 7.2 billion people, enter a state of coma right now except you. Let me tell you what will happen to you. I know. You will first run to the bank. You will find it open. By the way, you will enter the safe and run to a mall. No security. No nothing. No plane. No more terrorists. No fear. Where are the demons? They are no longer interested. You search for them. Every dark corner does not make you afraid again. So why did it make me afraid? Man. Man. The only reason why demons have something to do is because man is still alive. So, brothers and sisters, I want to ask you again. What is in man? Don't you think this calls for study? This thing changed my life. I'm playing with your expectation before I begin to teach you. What is man? When I consider the work of your hands. When you see a man designing something, you want to know what he wants to put there. When I see you building a house, I want to know the kind of thing you want to put there. Then you finish building a beautiful house, lavish money, and carry a little gold or a little baby or a dog and put in the house. I know that that is a dog plus something. Maybe that dog, you are hiding cocaine in that dog. I will tear that dog and find out why. Are we together now? Jesus shed his blood many times men will cry even for themselves to die listen listen have you tried to fix things fix things and it didn't work what do you do you try to fix a gas cooker again and again it doesn't work god doesn't throw it away now it's a mystery i wish i had time i would have shown you something a prophet saw that just like a shepherd comes to rescue a lamb he gave us an analogy in the book of Hosea. i think it was amos amos now right that a, a lion ate a lamb ate everything he only left two legs and one ear two legs and one ear yet the shepherd fought the lion and recovered the two ear the two legs and one ear when i read that scripture i said ah if you come and you see a lion devouring your sheep and the intestines have been eaten only one ear and two legs is it worth fighting for and yet the shepherd fought i preached a message years ago with that because for as long as you can have ears to hear the creative word of the lord and two legs to take a step of faith you can get everything back again it's the mystery of restoration the most important part of that sheep the lion did eat it what a foolish lion it ate every other part and left what can bring it back 
the lion would have eaten the ears and the legs and gone away and you would have finished that animal because if you still can hear and you can take steps of faith then all hope is not lost let's go to our discussion tonight please sit down everything on earth I said happens because of man the demonic oppression happens because of man there are more angelic activities on earth right now than human activities all because of men if god were to open your eyes in the realm of the spirit you will see myriads of angels dispatched and sent because of man every business succeeds because there is a man to provide that value and there is a man to patronize it is that true those of you who do businesses on campus you know that holidays are very bad times for you you don't like it why not because the building moves are we together now to an extent it's me that you can ship a consultant from india bundle him like a package and bring him to a hospital just to perform an eight hour surgery and go back and pay him millions yet you think he is worth it hallelujah what is man that thou art mindful of him i have spent my life studying and learning the mysteries of the kingdom that control the results that we desire i still am at it and i do it passionately i'm like a spiritual archaeologist if you would um, permit me to use that word because i strongly believe the few, the secret of the future is in the past there is something we have long forgotten about that holds the key to a glorious future and so i study a lot and when the lord began to teach me the mystery of men um i just felt it was very important to teach us now when you consider the personalities of men listen you're talking about the psychological implication of men you can have people who we consider to be extroverts people who we consider to be introverts and etc that's not what i'm talking about today i'm not talking about the physiology of men i'm not talking about the psychology of men i'm talking about the spirituality the very spirituality the spiritual significance of having a gift called a man in your life notice every time there is the coming of a man into another person's life the bible calls it an advantage when he created all things when he made the woman remember he said it is not good so another body comes into another life and the bible says that person's life should not be the same I, i'm just using marriage as an analogy he said he that finds a wife he never said he that finds oil he never said he that goes to school has done a good thing he never said he that, he that if you can find another human being then he said there is a friend another human being that sticks close ah, ah. he gave gifts to men the bible was speaking about the patriarch abraham and he said abraham set out on his journey as instructed by god and then lot went with him he never said lot helped him lot just followed another man and lot's life started changing are you hearing what i'm saying now let me show you the implication of men the bible records that there was a man called laban laban and then jacob came to the house of laban and over a span of about 10 years laban's entire life changed is that true the bible speaks about a prophet called jonah on his way to run away from god's instruction entered a boat where there were other men and certain strange things started happening every time someone died they started calling for the appearance of a man and a man appeared and then something happened have you noticed every time men entered an atmosphere they they made certain things to happen men 
men when Gehazi was troubled he went to meet a man are men really important when they were hungry 5,000 people they found a loaf five loaves two fish from a man and took it to meet a man even when the donkey spoke he spoke to a man please I want you to pay attention because what I'm saying will bless your life forever that means if I ignore men I am ignoring something more than a personality I am driving out a realm of reality and possibility from my life listen listen if I ignore men in fact in ancient times when kings had men they were called wealthy not just because they had an arsenal of people to fight because sometimes the people were not skilled but in the multitude of men is a king's honor the multitude of men is a king's honor every religion fights for men kings of the earth fight for men the only reason why they fight for territory is so that it can accommodate more men are we together when a man meets with his wife they give birth to another man why is God interested in another man when Satan tries to afflict a woman with barrenness what is he trying to stop what is he trying to stop he's not trying to stop joy no he's not trying to stop peace there are people who are happy without children why will Satan take the issue of men personal when Moses was giving birth to mm, listen Moses was giving birth to a decree listen they said they should kill all not animals men. in this case the masculine uh, gender but then men when Jesus was born the same thing happened again kill men what is in man oh God that you are mindful of what am I missing the last person I drove away from my life what did I drive away I'm about to show you why is it that the Bible even says a born again spirit filled man for treating another man in his life called his wife the heavens will close over him and his prayer will not be answered I didn't steal I didn't kill I only did something to another man that was not good yet heaven responds to it This entity called man, brothers and sisters, has more than just a personality. If all you look at is just two eyes, two legs, and a personality, you will cheat yourself. Listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you certain things about men. Number one, men in themselves are not perfect. Ignore this. Because what I'm about to show you will be stopped when you are when you don't take away the you know the, the the effect of some of these things i'm sharing men are not perfect in themselves you may meet foolish men in your life you may meet all wise men in your life however it still is not in enough reason to just throw them away they may be holding certain things that i'll be revealing to you shortly are we together for some reason God hid his possibilities in men he didn't hide it just in buildings he didn't just hide it in territories but the consecration of the possibilities of men he hid it uh, possibilities of God he hid it in men he made man the highest of his creation men are not perfect in themselves Number two, the attitude and the behavior of men, good or bad, good or bad, listen to me, does not stop your receiving what they carry. The attitude of men, good or bad, 
does not stop your receiving what they carry. Elijah was an angry man, yet he was used to change the life and the stories of people. You have to listen to this. Let me say the third thing that I'd want to say about men. Are you ready for this? There are certain possibilities in men, listen to me, that predates even their salvation experience. Please listen. Predates their salvation experience that can still be received, whether they are born again or not. You have to understand what I'm telling you. Now, am I just, am I saying people should remain unbelievers? No. But I am saying there are certain things that God has put in men that can be received whether or not those people are born again or not if an old woman causes you whether as a witch or as a human being the fact that she has lived long enough certain possibilities have been open to her to be able to speak over your life are you getting what i'm saying now yeah all through scripture every time children cried god had children every time read your bible every time children cried there was a response from the earth to heaven that's why i say out of the mouths of babes and sucklings thou had ordained are we together your destiny and my destiny are men dependent write this down it's a very serious point the your destiny and my destiny the fulfillment of it is highly men dependent my prosperity is men dependent the quality of the work god has given me the quality of your church your ministry your life is man dependent the quality of your life on earth as a believer and as an inhabitant of the earth is man dependent your success and my success in life are highly or is highly man dependent Evil on earth is man dependent. The advancement of the kingdom on earth is man dependent. The fulfillment of prophecy on earth is man dependent. God can speak. The Bible never told us in the prophecy. It said a virgin shall conceive. A woman aligned herself with that prophecy otherwise Jesus would never have been born he never said Mary no a woman chose to play that script it just so happened that the name of that woman is Mary it was said he would be buried in a virgin tomb he didn't tell us the owner that was somebody's business that was his property it so happened that the man who fulfilled that prophecy was Joseph of Arimathea. He said how that he would be betrayed, but he never said by a man called Judas. The prophetic word of God, listen, has been hanging over the heads of many people because the men to make it happen are not available. Or they have come and we have driven them away. Please pay attention. Occultism thrives through the availability of men. When the devil wants to destroy a family, there usually will be an envoy, an individual, an entity, whatever it is. Men are more powerful than mediums. You can keep a charm in a house, but the most powerful charm is an aligned human being who has agreed and said, Satan, I donate myself to scatter the life of these families. 
Are we together? My assignment is tonight is to help us to open our eyes to the mystery of these gifts that God has given us that we throw away from our lives around called men. And watch the unlimited possibilities. I call it a quantum leap. That your life, there is a, a quantum leap is a jump. Not just a movement. You move from one phase of possibility to the other because of the presence of a man. Hallelujah. There are four implications of the presence of men in your life. And I want you to note this. Number one, the first implication of a man coming into your life, especially sent by God, is the coming of wisdom, ideas, and strategies. The only entity that is able to convey wisdom, ideas, and strategies is man. Every time a man shows up in your life, wisdom, ideas, strategies, wisdom. So when I drive a man away, I did not just drive a personality. That's why I said, doth not wisdom cry. It personifies wisdom because wisdom moves in and through men. Are we together now? The conveyors of strategies and ideas and wisdom amen every time you are ready to move in a, to another dimension god sends a man and if you have the discernment that man can represent the strategy for the next level that man can represent the wisdom for the next level that man can introduce the idea for the next level many pastors many businesses many individuals are grounded because they think men are just black entities in clothes no every time you see a man coming to you in your state of misery begin to rejoice and begin to discern what is this man what is coming to me it's not just a human being with a mouth to speak are we together when you order a product from conga or jumia they have their pack is that true no matter where you buy it they rewrap it with their own pack and every time you see it sometimes it could be a surprise when you see it you start laughing because you wonder what is inside whether it is big or small you want to see what is inside the next time you see a human being come to you especially sent by god in a prophetic season you must begin to rejoice because that person ignore the personality this is what i'm teaching you when you look at the personalities of men you will drive all your miracles out of your life there are times you have to ignore those personalities and discern i've been fasting three days lord what is the key to the next level then a man comes men are the vehicles that god uses to transport wisdom and strategies wisdom and strategies implication number one pay attention to what i'm teaching you wisdom strategies let me tell you i think shortly before koinonia would start when we we're still meeting that time at the back of chapel in the abu campus here one night the lord led me to do something i just told everyone we're not so many maybe three four hundred or so then and I told everyone please can you write don't write your name just write out whatever suggestion that you think can make this ministry rise to the next level that's your assignment just write it and drop it in the basket brothers and sisters my life changed koinonia entered another a quantum leap when i began to read some of the things that were written i was shocked man bringing with them strategies do you know the answer to your prayer is not far from you you just don't have the eyes to see let me tell you god is not wicked i have learned by experience that every answer is closer than you think 
it is shrouded in a man the secret to your financial hardship somebody is walking with the answer and he will walk and pass you walk and pass you walk and pass you even be encouraging you while you are crying but because you have not discerned that men are the conveyors of strategies men are the conveyors of ideas men are the conveyors of wisdom i've had people help me solve problems in life and i've been surprised not at the solution they brought but that they are the ones who brought it and i start saying i mean so why did i start going around i mean you were here all the while has that happened to you after going around looking for answers talking everything it is your roommate while you are discussing in the night you say have you tried a b c and that's the end of it men convey us solutions disguised in human beings that we push away and never rise to the top every time you pray and you see men coming into your life pay attention there may be men who have annoyed you every day of your life but on that day they are sent on that day they are sent who gave naaman the secret of his health i know we clap for elisha but it was not elisha the bible says there was a little slave girl correct a slave girl meant that she did not even have the rudiments, the education and the training yet listen it was her that told naman he said I, I i know i'm a slave but there is a man of god there is a man of god i want you to meet when he met the man and you know doing his big manism she she's the one who came and advised him and said see he didn't ask you to go and bath in another dirty water somewhere and naman washed seven times and the bible says his skin could it be that since 2013 you would have risen but god kept answering your prayer and you kept rejecting the answer god give me strategies and all of a sudden he said please get out this way we're talking serious things here i had a little dream i saw you i just wanted to share shut up don't tell me anything i'm not stupid i'm i'm spiritual a small girl like you and you threw away your answer the person only humans can dream dogs don't dream forget all that junk you hear from sciences only humans have the faculty and the capacity to dream a dream is a mystery is one of the access points where we receive revelation from the realm of the spirit only men can dream only God knows how many times you have dreamt the answer to someone's prayer yet the person drove you away I'm not talking of false prophecies and, and nonsense where you keep harassing everybody. You keep seeing things about everybody's life, not your own life. I'm talking of quality, God-inspired solution that has a track record of results that we all appreciate. Are we together? Men, number two. What is the implication of a man in your life? endorsements and opportunities men are the conveyors of endorsements and opportunities listen if no man can endorse you in this life you will never rise Paul the apostle a man approved endorsed when they produce a drug they say this drug has been endorsed by the Nigerian dental society brush with it and your life will never be the same or whatever it is that that is the advert are we together now the endorsement whenever you are in doubt when you see that endorsement listen we trivialize endorsement companies have entered million dollar status overnight because of endorsement people have gotten admission with whatever it is because of endorsement i was talking with one of our people here who had been trusting god i think for a change of faculty or something and um you know the guy was discouraged and then i told him i said he should meet our daddy prof you know just to help him out and he said he i saw him i think it was just last week or so and he was telling me he said everything is settled though 
He said in his presence they were driving everybody out. But immediately he entered and they saw the signature. They said, come in. Is it prof? Come in. It's called what? Many carnal people think it's not spiritual. You need endorsement. It was John the Baptist. Listen, this is a secret many rising ministers don't know. Somebody who earns the loyalty of the people must speak for you. Otherwise the gate will not open. The gate will not open. Show me the man speaking for you. Show me who has authorized. Listen, when a man endorses you, he takes his sacrifice and puts it for you to cross with. Many believers lack endorsement. Many businesses lack endorsement. Many individuals lack endorsement. There are many people who would have gotten jobs if only someone can say this and that and that. By the privilege of God's grace that he has granted me, I have endorsed people with just a statement. A one-minute phone call turned them to millionaires. One-minute phone call. Oh, I know this person. I can vouch for him. Help him. Benny Hinn was at almost at a state of financial bankruptcy one time. They were going to cancel the crusade because he did not have enough money. He needed $10 million in three days. $10 million in three days. An anointed man like Benny Hinn, please pay attention. Benny Hinn was, you know, making a program challenging the partners to come and, you know, when the accounts department, their back office were looking, nobody was really contributing. And the Holy Spirit told him to go and bring Oral Roberts. He carried Oral Robert and brought him. The old man came and sat on air. And they had only three minutes. Can you imagine? Three minutes to the end of the program. Do you know what Oral Robert said? He said, Benny is in need. Please help him. In less than 24 hours, they raised about $15 million. Everybody say endorsement. Don't joke with what I'm telling you. I'm teaching you a powerful mystery that you will need. Promotion many tongue talkers sit down everywhere because they do not do you know why i'm teaching you this i'm going to tell you the responsibility so that when you see a man that can endorse you no sacrifice to maintain the relationship becomes too much because you understand the implication of that person's reputation to your destiny all this unnecessary anger with everybody because you think you are the god of yourself you will stay poor and broke and you will lose in life endorsement 90% of the ministrations that I have gone to by the grace of God have happened through endorsements. One pastor endorsing this. Someone saying, I came for koinonia. Listen to this message. While they are saying that, I'm probably sleeping or gisting with somebody. I pray for someone tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. The voice, the voice. No, any, listen, not every voice can lift you not every voice can lift you the voice that has been accredited is the voice that can lift you and i pray for you in the name of jesus the son of the living god may that voice speak over your life yeah. hallelujah men imply the presence of endorsements and opportunities pastor alpha called me i think when was it that yesterday i was in abuja and he called me and he said apostle do you know anybody who read civil engineering there is a job right now as we are talking for the person no interview no nothing and all he wanted was who is who is there I mean, so that we can give him. The, I said, Kai, I don't know anybody in my mind. Let's come for Koinonia. After, maybe the person is here now. As you are here, you are saying, praise the Lord. And I help you answer hallelujah because that's it. It's done. Someone's life changed overnight. How many people after service, they were just going out to trek just like that. And somebody gave them a lift. And while discussing, they said, ah, what do you do, young man? He said, sir. You know, I'm just moving around. I say, how, how can you be moving around? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Come to my office, take this card. And they thought maybe the office looks like just a small fish pond and another building. And they enter the office and they say, sorry, this person. And they 
it keeps getting access until he gets to the man and he says, well, I'm the managing director of ABC. I'm the Nigerian representative of this. Let your life change. Can men change people's lives? <laughs> you, are, you are a big joke. Look, let me tell you, some things are not demonic oppression. Some things are childishness, which have been caused by lack of orientation. Sometimes we need sufficient adults to tell us how some things work. You know, all this childishness people carry around. I don't need anybody. You need, oh, you better change that talk quick. I don't need any man. Are you joking? Man, what is man that thou art mindful of? Man is a conveyor of endorsement an opportunity are we together that's why we work at making every service a great experience for everyone because everyone's experience is automatically an endorsement of what we represent I have gotten things without paying for them because of endorsements Brothers and sisters, I'm showing you a simple secret that will change your life forever. The Bible says they know not, neither will they understand. They grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course. People have received partnership in their ministry overnight because of an endorsement i've had the privilege i remember one time a particular pastor somewhere you know I, I don't raise money raise funds and all of that but i went to the church and i you know i saw the project they were doing and when i you know said everything i said by the grace of god um i want everybody to sow a seed for this project just jokingly do you know the pastor would call me like two three weeks later he said in all they have met they have prayed and they have fasted him he was saying apostle you are really anointed i said no 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 in my mind it's not just the anointing it's a track record listen listen don't wait till you create the same track record you, you will you will time time cannot wait for you leverage on someone else's sacrifice The condition that was available to create that track record by another may not be available for you. Are you sharing what I'm saying? I know lecturers, and I say it with all humility, and it doesn't mean you should meet me after the service, but I know lecturers that I have called and said, Sir, please, so, so, so has met me that there is a problem in your department and this thing is going to affect him ah my apostle how are you you are even calling me and i say sir please i'm not saying you should uh, do anything but please sir can you look into this issue and the person will just come out and say i passed i graduated it's only me that knows what happened between me and the other person may someone discuss your rising even when you are sleeping that when you are when you are sleeping someone is saying look do you know sam i know how he will rise come on now listen those who understand this never get stranded no sir no sir no sir there has to be somebody to speak the voice that speaks for you is the ladder that you will use to climb in the destiny of life you don't pay attention to what i'm telling you to be at your peril because someone is receiving already the answer this is how god will bless men in this season that's why i tell you when god says it's a year of triumph believe him it doesn't take time it just takes the right voice speaking for you hallelujah i have entered offices today i have no business entering it because of the endorsement endorsement Who has endorsed you man of god i know you are anointed but you are sweating all around with posters flying everywhere and saying please invite me give me 30 minutes out no 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 you don't have to do those gimmicks who around has had the credibility and is willing to endorse you hallelujah i will never forget one one of our ladies when she was preparing to get married when she went to meet her mother, her mother said, I don't have anything to tell you. I don't even know this guy. Just go and meet apostle. Whatever apostle says. Think of it. Leaving somebody's destiny in my hands. I called the mother. I said, mommy, this guy is a very nice guy. He said, apostle, you are saying that? I said, yes. From that day, 
there was no challenge again lord raise somebody to speak for me or raise someone to endorse me raise someone to endorse my business raise some raise someone to endorse my life my destiny there has to be somebody to speak for you listen let me show you that jesus immediately they gave birth to jesus where did they take him to the temple there were two men that endorsed him are we together immediately they took him one prophetess called anna had been there praying and fasting she lifted him and began to speak and then Simeon the prophet began to speak when John was among different people when John saw him John said behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world in the presence of everybody somebody must speak to you in the presence of everybody don't be angry that men are doubting you you have not done anything to bless them why should they not doubt you listen listen let me tell you do you know i say this with all humility there have been people who by the grace of god they started out in ministry and the church was not growing the ministry was grounded and all they needed sometimes they just call and say man of god please so many people listen to your messages in this region you are not here you don't have a branch me i'm here you know i love god and these people never come to my church and then they make arrangement and the day i'm going for those meetings some of those churches don't even have plenty of people but they have multiple overflows those times why because somebody that the people believe in has appeared are you hearing what i'm saying now and then the moment i speak and i say oh this is my a, a pastor friend a great man a man of integrity i love him with all my heart and immediately it looks like a one second or five seconds talk but the members just say i found my pastor since i can't come to zaria i found the person that can represent him that's why sometimes people foolishly carry my picture for meetings that i'm not coming they don't care whether i say yes or no they just start producing the posters in advance first because they think it's endorsement sometimes it doesn't work but when you have a man truly who can speak for you brothers and sisters i don't see the witch or the wizard that will tie you ladies have married cheaply because someone recommended them brother i've been praying honestly there's this lady i've been looking ah no 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 this lady is a blessing i tell you if it's this lady you are sure of joy and peace in your life whether in plenty or in lack and the brother says I've, I've, my prayer has been answered a few months later they are married but do you know the same way people's destinies have been cut short somebody was about to rise but a bad talk from someone brought him down they were about to give him a job he said don't give this guy a job he worked with me he's too cement he, maybe the guy has repented oh do you know paul had to do this for onesimus it's in your bible accept him i know he was once so 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 and so but now just accept him there are people here all those who know you knew your yesterday you have repented today you need a fresh voice that will tell people this is not Saul this is now Paul because the, the, the predicament of being Saul is destroying your breakthrough who today must speak and say no 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 this guy was an armed robber but January he repented are you hearing what I'm saying some of us our past will never let us go they know that you used to be around following every man yes that was your past but now you are born again and Jesus is Lord of your life yet all the people in your life are people who knew you 1997 so the moment they see a responsible godly man come in they call and say Kai, um, you know David Dam, I wouldn't have told you it's just because you are my brother this is not a good choice I command every voice that speaks when you are about to rise the moment there is consultation among your destiny helpers to, to lift you there are voices there are pastors today that should not be begging for bread partners wanted to sow into their lives but somebody said I saw his poster with A and B's poster and immediately over 70 ministrations cancelled just because somebody recommended you badly I pray 
any voice in the name of Jesus that has been speaking evil against your destiny I silence that voice right now shout amen I silence that voice right now I silence that voice right now please sit down sit down hallelujah cheap victory because a man showed up quantum leap because an endorser showed up there are pastors who their destinies have changed overnight a man of god they invited somewhere could not make it and he'll just say please can you go and stand for me that was a meeting that their level of grace and experience should not take them there and they stood there and they did well that day after the meeting there are seven or eight pastors and they say sir please can you come to a, for a meeting can you come for a meeting etc etc there is no meeting brothers and sisters that i will go for that afterward somebody from that meeting will carry the wondrous works of god to another region this is how we have grown as a ministry This is how we have grown, even financially. The blessing that has come from people. Are we together now? I remember someone one time sowing into the ministry and he said that him, I think he's a critical person. He hates men of God. Many men of God are fake. They are not serious. But when he listened to my message and his mentor, he, he had his mentor, whoever that person was, listening to my message, he just said, no, we'll be sowing into this ministry. Every month, I tell you, every month he sows a seed to koinonia and a seed to my life do i know him i have only communicated with him on text but endorsement don't trivialize what i'm saying endorsement someone you are selling products and you are doing retail whereas a hotel somewhere or whatever needs your product in wholesale but they don't trust you and you will not be given the opportunity to prove your trust you will only be given the opportunity to be trusted based on somebody who already knows you, who they believe. And someone will say something, say, ah, listen, if he's a Mecca, eh, I can tell you, he will deliver your chickens every time. If he does not deliver, just take it at my risk. And all of a sudden, they will just sign it. And instead of selling one one chicken, somebody will come and say it's two five. You say we'll give you seven hundred. And all those arguments for hours just to buy one chicken, you will start doing wholesale delivery. Your life has changed. Blessings. Music artists. How many music artists have been suffering as if God didn't call them? Beautiful voice, but no voice to speak for you. Beautiful voice. But no voice to speak they only invite you if everybody they invited is busy then they'll say sorry honestly this program is in three hours I, are you free just come and cover our shape you need a voice say i need a voice, I need a voice. say I need a, I need a man yeah you need the coming of someone in your life to speak for you what opportunities have you been given were you giving it or you looked for it by yourself are you seeing the secret to hardship where you have to look for everything by yourself who has called you to say there is a big opportunity i cannot handle it but here you go like whoever is going to get this job now there are times they've invited me for almost every invitation that we honor there are a few others we have to turn down and there are times in my spirit I have felt led to lift certain people and I call those people I say I'm sorry I can't come their heart is paining them and I say no 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 but this person cannot call but I know someone I can recommend for you do you believe me ah apostle we believe you we have been praying okay invite us so and so he will bless you case closed I don't want my life to be hard though the Bible said the way of the fool is hard wisdom that voice that must speak in my life this has been my prayer i'm sharing with you my secret prayer lord who is the person everybody is buying land they say there is no land it's a lie it's just that all the important people have bought it the day you come they'll say please so so said they should give him land i've shared a testimony here that i heard years ago um and i'll reiterate it very quickly someone who wanted to 
um, I think get admission in NDA and then the, the required height level the person did not have that required height level and you know military people they are very serious well that's it he returned back to Zaria and then met the Emir and the Emir sent that they should go and tell the commandant they should go and tell the man that the Emir has added the height of the person hmm. who is adding your height in this wicked world listen this our world is fierce and wicked who is hiding your height when people stand and conspire we must destroy benga we must make sure he does not rise who is the voice authorized to stand and say no not this i will show you why doors don't open because the truth is i want to admit this with all humility many of us are already prepared for the next level but we don't know the endorsement is the key that we need the truth is if it's music artists god has honored this ministry with great people if it's intellectuals there are some of you seated right now one endorsement i remember a gentleman who came here um some time ago a medical doctor and he discovered um something he was he got the patent for um reproduction of something to reproduce a particular device that can check i think it can check your heartbeat and whatever without taking blood from your body very smart guy he came here and i told him i said please go and meet our daddy so that they will connect him with professor knock and like that and i think so on and so on like that like that we've not seen the guy again I want to believe that God has lifted him and I pray that it is so. I made up my mind that every voice that must speak into my life, whatever price it will take, I will pay to secure the endorsement of that voice. It's not human worship. Hallelujah. Ora Roberts, help Benny. He's in trouble. And all of a sudden, somebody's prayer point becomes a gift. Hallelujah. There are men of God who just... Do you know there are certain stages, even ministerially speaking sincerely, if God grants you the privilege and the access to stand on that stage, as far as ministry is concerned, God has helped you. There are certain individuals, if God has given you the privilege to see... God has changed your life. Endorsements, opportunities. Number three, what is the implication of the presence of men in our lives? Number three, what is the implication of the presence of men in our lives? Access to financial and material resources. Write it down. Access to financial and material resources part of the fringe benefits of the coming of a man into your life access to financial and material resources listen listen every one naira every material resource you pray for is currently in the hands of a human being right now praise the lord Every land Koinonia will ever buy in any nation of the world is currently in the possession of somebody now. Every transfer that you have been fasting for into your account, there is an entity holding it now like this. The money for your house is in somebody's account. So when you start building a house, it will not fall from heaven. Transfer will be made, transfer will be made, transfer will be made. Human beings. There are human beings that are generous enough to change your life. Listen, Koinonia, hear me. It is a false understanding to believe everybody is greedy. There are absolutely benevolent human beings. Your own price is to win their heart. You can go to bed. Hallelujah. And Lot went with him. He didn't say, and Lot believed what he believed. Lord, just walk with him. Hallelujah. Do you know that someone was sharing a testimony somewhere 
uh, I think it was a lady or so that was sharing a testimony. Somebody she knows, they were walking along a path, a road, and then the person was quite a senior man, and then he met a very big man, and he was greeting the man. And whilst he greeted the man, he gave the man, you know, the person she was walking with now. That stranger, rich stranger, gave some money and looked at her and said, ah, young lady, he decided to give her something too. Just like he was not even counting. She said when she counted it, she found that it was 50,000. Just because she was working with who? Think of, think of your prayer point disappearing simply because you are working with the wrong person. It's the same way you can be working with somebody and you check and find out, ah, I left my house with 500,000, now I have 12,000. What happened? The presence of someone took something away from you. Access to financial resources. Your money is in the hands of men. Please believe me. Your money is not just in the hands of business. You can sell anything you want to sell. It's a human being that will have to buy it for you to be paid. Men can bless you for no reason. You must believe this dimension exists. That a man can just bless you. I've had the privilege of blessing people in a lavish and a generous way. For no reason. I don't even know some of them. Hallelujah. Let me share a testimony that will bless you. I share these testimonies to encourage our faith. I came back from Abuja this just this evening, just coming here now. And um, yesterday in the night, I decided to take a cab just to go and get something to eat before returning to sleep. And while I got there, my, my elder sister came to give me a surprise visit and we chatted for a while and then, you know, saw her off. Uh, on my way returning, I asked the man, I said, how much is your bill? Probably because the man saw me buying things for my sister and the rest. Ah, the guy said, oh, guy, anything you give me? I said, no, no, please don't tell me all those things. Just, you, you are working. You are working with intelligence. What exactly, how much is your money? And then he mentioned, okay, X amount. He said, oh, guy, you know, I told you I have three children. Because I asked him. I said, oh, you have children. How many children? He said, three. I said, you're a hardworking man. You know, we're talking on the way coming. I said, I like you. You're a diligent man, striving to make sure you provide for your family. And then when he asked me how much, I said, no, but you know that's not the price. So how much is the last price? Then he now told me the truth. He reduced it by some amount. And the Holy Spirit ministered to me. He said, I should take whatever was in my pocket, everything, everything that was in my pocket. I don't know how much, but it was, it was nothing less than 25000 He said, take everything and give the man. As soon as I draw from the car, I said, Mr. Man, you do not know me, but go and tell your lovely children that you met a man who decided to bless them make sure you take care i removed everything i dropped it the man was afraid ah this is i hope this is not blood money and etc 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 i just dropped it and said okay this is where i'm highlighting god bless you until i entered the man was shocked that's the kind of experience that is i didn't know you will answer me this way There are such occurrences on earth. I'm giving you an example. That's somebody's prayer. Now, it may look like it's 20 or 25,000 or whatever. I know it looks small to some of you. But that's the same way it can be 200 and something million. The same way it is that trivial. The same way it was. There are obedient people. Let me tell you. There are people who pack out of their house and give you if God said it. But if they have not had God, you can be dying. They will look at you like this. There are people who the voice of God is their trigger. But to get that voice of God, you have to invoke this and say, Oh God, let let send this man. This man has what it takes to wipe my tears. Financial and material privileges accessed sim not through intelligence and business acumen, through the understanding that men can do this. I started doing something some time ago. I don't do it again. When I go to get fuel, whoever is before me, no matter how much he wants to fill his tank, I pay for it. I just said I'll do it as a seat. If I go to get fuel and you happen to be before me, whether it's a bucket you are carrying, as long as it's within my capacity, I will sow into it. And I've done that and I watch the joy that it, it, it produces in the life of people. Watch this. 
one time I, re- I remember I think it was one of this was it Salah or something like that a, a, part- a man came and I saw him bring out 200 naira ah, the wife was at the back of the bike just he even just put one leg down and opened that this thing just it's as if you just press it in and take it back how much with 200 naira fuel I, I looked at him I said please fill the tank for him the man just turned I was greeting me I said fill the tank when he finished I just waved I said madam bye bye you know this and that and that and the man just looked at me do you know why I'm doing this one because I love God two I am activating the same thing because that's what I want in my own life I want a situation where one day somebody says Joshua Selman I hear you need a house this I hear you need five acres of land for koinonia take I hear you need joy and peace I believe it or if you like don't believe it I believe it with all my heart it's not laziness it's a provision that is in the kingdom how many people have gotten free house they are not in ministry one day somebody just said come and escort me and they are sharing houses and you just got your own and left quietly and ran out of the town just quietly got a lawyer and said sign this it's called prepared blessings prepared blessings prepared blessings that's what God is getting ready to bring for us in this season prepared blessings where you will wake up in the morning with a text and you check the text and all of a sudden a man sends you a text wanting nothing in return I'm not talking of bribe look at this many of our parents some of you know that I'm telling the truth they are brilliant according to their level of sacrifice they should be working at the the highest echelon of the government but today nobody can speak for them there are many people who should be legislators doing very well nobody's speaking for them there are buildings houses that should be completed but there is no help because you start on your own you are receiving 20,000 naira every month but you know one day you can just be passing and somebody will just look and say once in a while we just want to bless people and it just happens to be you dr mike mudok shared it a story one time how that i think it was his dad of blessed memory or mom they performed a surgery and it was about twenty five thousand dollars the people had exhausted all their monies and you know the hospital just called them and said once in a while we like to do good things to people just like charity and it happens to be you i was told about a woman of god in abuja today that went to a particular place and saw um it's like their chapel devastated she brought out eight million cash and said they should rebuild a house for god from scratch up i know a man of god in this country well not a man of god but a rich man the pastor had been shouting we need a tent all of you so we need a tent we need a tent let's beautify the house of god the rich man just kept quiet as if he doesn't know what they're saying one day the guy got up and bought a tent 25 million cash they brought it i'm mentioning these big amounts for a reason i want to stretch your mind because some of you will never believe it if you like say i'm talking about money no problem i know you don't need it but your destiny needs it so you better pay attention in the name of jesus connection with men who can help you do you know sometimes all you need in life is just help you don't need advice you don't need suggestion sometimes all you need uh, you don't need help like spiritual help the direct need if you need a watch just sometimes case closed just that watch. sometimes what you need is financial help when Ruth listen when Ruth and Naomi when Naomi stood and was confused did not know what to do and Ruth said I'm not going anywhere with you do you know a time came when she went to the field and she saw them gleaning and Boaz said leave some what did she do just leave some there are there are blessings you will enter into this year that you too you will know that this one no is not me is purely the sovereignty of God and I stand in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy it upon you as surely as the Lord God of heaven lives may that come to you speedily 
may that come to you speedily everybody shout prepared blessings say it again prepared blessings it, it, it is true it happens where somebody just steps in and solves your problem directly I share with you a testimony those who just got admission in the school of ministry congratulations but you will notice that a supplementary list came out it's not in our culture to release a supplementary list are we together now someone spoke for the students a voice that I honor, that we honor. I supervised the supplementary list by myself. There were three people that I honor with every esteem in my life. And when three of them called me, I said, no, no, no. I'm under authority to bring all the forms of the students who did not get the admission. You, you were just sitting in your house and you saw an alert. And they said, congratulations. But someone spoke for you. Why has it stopped? Why should it not continue in other areas of your life? That somebody will speak for you. You are just sitting, you see an alert with a phone number and you call and say, who are you? You say, we were discussing and someone mentioned your name. It has happened to me. It happens all the time. Pray one minute and say, Lord, help us. Financial help us. Please ignore people who think you are wasting your time. Pray this prayer with faith. Lord, send help us. The house of God needs help us. My family needs the ministry of help us. All I need at this point in my life is a genuine helper. No string attached. No, thank you for investment. But what I need now is not an investment. I need a helper. Help her. My family is about packing up. I need a helper. Please don't joke. This is your destiny. This is a kingdom secret that can wipe your tears. I cry for a helper. The gift of men. He gave gifts unto men. He gave gifts unto men to the end that they be established. He gave gifts to men to the end that they be helped. In the time of recession, he is still giving gifts to men. In the time of lack and want. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Jesus, this is someone's breakthrough tonight. I believe, I believe, I believe. Who said the medical bills must be paid through salary? Who said the helper cannot arise and wipe it? Who said the roofing of the house must be done by your savings? Hallelujah. Please sit down. I tell you, my spirit is stirred with what I'm telling you. Many of you will thank me. You will see your lives change overnight. Don't mind people who think what I'm sharing with you is not making sense. I show you what can change your life. Brothers and sisters, is one of the biggest secrets of this work you see by the grace of God. There are few things in this ministry, let me tell you, there are few things in this ministry, few things in this ministry that are actively being paid for from the central house. Every week, every time 
there is somebody rising to handle something when we used to use other venues there are people who just arise and say look i will pay for the venue i will pay for this how much does it cost to transport people all through after service i will pay for it don't think it's everybody who must say what will i get in return there are people whatever you want to give them god has given them already they don't need anything they just want to bless you what is man that thou art mindful of number four what is the implication of the presence of men in your life I call it impartation access to impartation and the prophetic access to impartation and the prophetic why do you need men in your life their presence can guarantee you access to impartation what is impartation transference of grace for possibilities transference of grace for possibilities men move according to the kinds and the dimensions of graces at work in them no matter how you cry for god to anoint you if you ignore men you will never do you know look at me some of you all you need in your life is just that prophetic push prophetic push bishop oyedeko said every time they are busy celebrating winners and saying wow this is how the ministry has risen they will just go to papa Ia Deboe and you just lay hands on him and say you have seen well but a new level and that's the end of it prophetic push is capital it can bless your life it can wipe your tears one prophetic word i've shared with you countless testimonies here to the glory of god maybe i'll just review one or two remember the story i told you about the two women i went to buy sugar cane and two mama old women old women I'm not sure they could even speak English. And they were trying to remove, they were trying to, uh, um, what they call it? Yes, to remove the wrapper so that they remove the small money to pay for sugar cane. And I said, uh -uh, I may not have much, but come on, these are my mothers. Let me bless them. And I just bought the sugar cane. I don't think I spent up to 100 naira. I can't remember how much exactly. And those women were so touched. They were blessing me and blessing me. And one of them said, my son forever walk upon gold. How can a woman who is trying to remove five naira, she knew what she carried on her head. Listen, don't wait for people's physical result to believe they have it. You will be joking. You may see a man with 10 members, but he, must have, he can have a kingmaker anointing. He can anoint you and you have a stadium full of membership. If all you are looking for is someone else's result, no. Some results are not meant to appear physically. They are meant to be transferred and reflected in the life of another it's called a king maker anointing they never become kings themselves yet they are the ones who anoint and throne and dethrone kings those of you who have kings in your village you know there are people who sit down with the kings they are called king makers they never become kings themselves yet they are the ones who consecrate kings saul never became a king himself but he was the one who made kings and he was the one through god who rejected kings let me tell you there are people who carry graces they may not physically look like it they may not be millionaires but they never lack quarter to shame god will always arise that's a grace you need because all you need in life is not just money bishop oyedeko calls it the grace of on time when things come too late they can kill you they should come on time how he got that anointing he said he was a particular man of god i don't know if it was archbishop benson idahosa or whoever it was who he, you know sent him on errand sent to Edeko on errand then when he was just starting and he, to show up at a particular time and the person showed up fast and and the Oedeko showed up fast and then the man looked at him and said ah you mean you came at the time he said from today i impart upon you the grace of on time before a need arises the supply comes there is such a grace now you may see people move they are not millionaires but they they carry that possibility 
the moment shame is about to come something must happen to change that result it's a grace impartation by god's grace we have lavishly received impartations in this place impartations i have received impartations i'm like a bee i'm a product of strange graces jesus himself being the chiefest of them all but there are human vessels there are men who have entered my life and just wiped my tears in certain areas impartation and then a prophetic push i told you prophecy is both revelatory and creative the more superior dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension revelatory dimension gives you faith and direction but when you get to the end of your road you need the creative dimension of prophecy where someone can look at your life and say look physically speaking there is no hope but in the name of jesus i introduce a reality an equation into your life i was teaching in in, in akure and i told them the anointing is the, is an advantage it's an advantage it's an advantage it's an advantage prophecy this ministry you see there are constant prophecies being bombarded on our heads prophecy 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 where is the prophetic voice pushing you to the next level where is the prophetic voice that's why every time I minister here, I pray and I speak over your life from the depth of my heart. It's not just copy men of God. I understand the power of the prophetic. Second Chronicles 20, 20. It says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall he be established. Then it says, believe his prophets, so shall he prosper. In other words, don't believe them. And what happens to you? It says, and by a prophet... The Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet were they preserved. The prophetic is real. Not just calling names and numbers, but the ability to speak realities into being. Taking an advantage of this mystery. The capacity to create things. Because everything that appears comes from the unseen realm. So a man can program your destiny through prophecy like an alarm clock. You can program an alarm clock to ring at a time. You see that? You program an alarm clock 327 and the clock will be quiet as if it's dead. 327 on the dot. That's how a man's destiny can be programmed. A man can shift a breakthrough that should happen when you are 49 to happen when you are 25. Prophecy. Prophecy can shift possibilities to and fro. You must understand this. By this time tomorrow, Elisha said, he didn't say God told me, by this time tomorrow, when he met the Shunammite woman, he said, what should I do to you? Should I talk to the king? He said, no, no, I live among my own people. What should I? He said, well, we don't have a child. Hear what he said. He placed a time. That's one of the ministry of the prophetic is to place a time for your miracle. Because the clock must ring. He said to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To appoint. So something that would have happened next year, they take it and make it happen next week. It's a superior dimension of the prophetic. A woman will be coming here, I'm sure, one of these days to share her testimony. She sent a testimony that touched me. Now, this is not the first time we're getting these testimonies, but they are very powerful. I don't have time to look for it in my phone, but I will tell you, she said, I think we were in a program. I don't know which of the meetings now, whether in Yola or whatever. Yes, they were part of those who uh, were in the welfare cooking, cooking for us. And I always pray for all those who cook, those who drive me and cook for me every time I go for any meeting. Now, I prayed for the woman and according to her, she said, I told her that, what do you want? And she said she wanted twins. And she said it jokingly. And I said, in the name of Jesus, may the Lord give you twins. Nothing really happened. She got pregnant two weeks after that time. That's the first news. This is a woman that had been barren. And, but when they checked her, there was only one child. Glory be to God. That's all right. At least I'm happy that I'm pregnant now. And she said just like, um, I think, maybe a month ago, they went back to check and there were twins. Twins right there. You see that? 
she sent me a text actually because she started having some little pain like birth pains and they were saying most likely they will use cs so she shared that testimony and she was trying to encourage me to pray for her so she can give birth you know safely and then come and testify the creative dimension of prophecy that can place realities children just come through a man they come from god the moment mary said be it unto me she was pregnant it's just the body of the child and the genetics that come through the man children are a heritage from the lord he said when he led captivity captive he gave gifts to men the question i want to ask you tonight before we pray is have you received your own because the bible says that he gave those gifts to the end that we attain a level you have not attained that level meaning you have not received those gifts have you received the strategies the ideas the wisdom have you received the endorsements accreditations hmm. have you received financial and material resources i'm speaking to somebody from the depth of my heart there are testimonies i can begin to share with you now but if I say some of these testimonies that they are not, it's not even safe for some of us because it may just push you through seasons you are not ready for. But brothers and sisters, let me tell you the truth. Anybody that tells you that God cannot fast track the life of a man is a joking. Look at my life. Look at my life. I've heard of testimonies of people in this recession. People have arisen. And don't things you cannot imagine. One of the gifts that God has given me in my life, I draw me to the leaders and the workers all the time, is the gift of men. The gift of men is greater than money. The gift of men is greater than money. There are some things money cannot do. Are we together? Listen. If you labor unto death, I've given this example here. You labor unto death and you get five naira. And somebody walks up and gives me five naira. Are, are five naira the same? No. Your sweat and your life was drained for that five naira. It's, it's called the mystery of hardship. When you work for everything, you know we encourage diligence here. But your lifetime is not enough for you to get every result by working. You need an advantage. And that advantage is shrouded in men. Not oil. Not real estate. Not banking. Men. men who have you ignored in your life whose voice must speak for you in this season it's not that there are no jobs there are people getting jobs every time just like someone is about to get one now but who is speaking for you oh there are no contracts please keep quiet don't say there are no contracts with 7.2 billion people on earth are you joking there are no contracts there is no contract for you but there's contract but a voice can make it for you come and do a miracle a miracle today you will do a miracle a miracle today listen when you get into trouble hear me who speaks for you there are some of us it's not all about money when you get into trouble who speaks for you there are some of us if things don't work out in our lives we are dead there's nobody to arise and speak for you the bible says valiant men came to david they entered a covenant that they must make him king who is ready to die to see that your cause you criticize a man of god and there's nobody to back him no sir there should be somebody no 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 no. don't say this against pastor femi i love him are we together they just said they had some money in your office you are about to be thrown out you are in trouble and you are innocent just because you are working in the accounts department they are about to jail you in the prison in the in the police station there's nobody to speak for you 
before the law court nobody to speak for you they are about to throw you in nobody to speak for you Hapa. that's a life with no favor that every time trouble arises somebody will come and say look ordinarily speaking you are supposed to do A and B and C to Emeka but I come in have you seen people who when they are fighting they come and stand and say don't beat this person it's better to beat me who can cover you like that politicians call them God father God whatever brothers and sisters we have ignored this to our detriment one of the blessings God has given me in my life is not just divine immunity and protection God has raised men I can tell you this men who will stand and they won't mind blood coming out of their bodies to make sure they protect my interests and what we represent and I do not take them for granted but I am grateful I have been shocked a man of God somewhere once said something that was not too nice about me and I mean that person I, I didn't even know it was when he apologized more than 100 people called him blasted nonsense out of his life and said God will punish you and punish you and join and punish you you mix every the baby and the bad water and think everybody it was something that was trying to show maybe like all these men those you you know you know what I mean now maybe if somebody put his hand in something that is ungodly time shall tell you know those kind of sarcastic statements and my goodness and I'm not talking of young people married women the person will say his testimony and blast the man and say, are you stupid? The man sent me a text. He thought I knew about it, honestly speaking. It was when I got it, I said, no, 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 no offense. I don't have, well, why, why, I mean, I don't keep any offense. What for? Can you have people like that? There are men who can arise to cover your shame. Just because they know you, they will arise and say, no, 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 no. I will cover your shame for you. We have some prayers to pray this night. If our parents had this, they would not be struggling like this. Because every other person who has risen has exactly what they have. Educationally, whatever it is. No help. No help. No help. You work hard, you go to school, almost as if you would die, you graduate and your, your certificate becomes like a toilet tissue nobody to speak on it the only thing there is the registrar's signature and life will look at you and say no i need another signature come on this is this is this is too regular show me another one you are praying and fasting but you need to start praying strategically don't just pray and say lord send angels yes angels are important but you need a physical entity moved by those angels there was a particular time they were going to this Paul was afraid of entering a city and God said no no don't be afraid I have many people there nobody will touch you I have many people many men there I'm tired of the status quo there's gotta be more than this I'm tired of the status quo there's gotta be more than this. There's gotta be more. Gotta be more. There's gotta be more than this. There's gotta be more. Gotta be more. There's gotta be more than this. Listen, one of these four things will become your prayer point. I'm going to give us 10 minutes and I will not interrupt you. 10 minutes alone with God. You know what aspect. The Bible says he gave gifts unto men. Ask God, Lord, where is my own? Where is my own gift? Where is the man you have sent with the financial blessing? Where is the man you have sent, oh God, with the prophecy for my next level? Where is the man you have sent with the idea? Where is the man to endorse my life, my ministry? Ten minutes. Please, I don't know how you will pray. But the next ten minutes, instrumentalists help us. Cry before the God of heaven. And say, Lord, I want to receive my own gift. You are giving gifts to men. Ha. 
for once doesn't your spirit bear witness that this is the key to what brought you here man an advocate man listen listen he said they are taken for a prey but none say it restore they capture you but there is no man to shout restore prayer point number one Oh God, whoever holds the strategy, the wisdom, the idea that I need to experience triumph, I open the gates of my spirit and I receive them as gifts. Go ahead and pray. The gift, the gift of wisdom, the gift of understanding, the gift of strategies business strategies through men ministry strategies through men shaka 
One man can change your company. One man can change your business. One man can link you up with what 10 years has not been able to give you. One man can open up the gates of ministry. Send that man, oh God. Send that woman, oh God. Send that man, oh God. Send that woman, oh God. I open the gates of my spirit. 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 I receive them as gifts. Hallelujah. One man. One man. The difference between you and the next level. Prayer point number two. Listen. Father, I have the talent. I am ready for the next level. But there is no ladder to climb. The voice that must endorse me for the next level. I call you by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. The voice endorsing my papers. The voice endorsing my products. The voice endorsing my services. The voice endorsing the hand of God on my life. I call you in the name of Jesus. Prophesy, prophesy. Prophesy. It's time to rise. Somebody somewhere has what it takes to speak for you. Somebody somewhere has what it takes to speak for you. Call them. Call them Koinonia. Call them. Call them for your family. Call them for your life. The man to endorse your marriage. The man to endorse access to the man of God who carries the grace you need. The man to endorse your business. The man to endorse your employment. Thy kingdom come, thy will be. Pray, 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 pray with all your heart. Lord, I'm a master's holder. I'm ready for the job. I need an endorser. I'm a PhD holder. I'm a graduate. I need an endorser. Lord, I'm a businessman. I have paid my price. I have done my homework. I need a voice. A voice to speak at the gate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you something. If you are a parent here, yeah, everything you pay, you pray for yourself, pray for your children, whether they are in your womb or they are everywhere. I hear what I'm saying. If you are a lady here, as you pray, you lay your hands on your womb. You don't wait till you get married. Come on. John was filled with the Holy Ghost in his water's womb. You can speak favor to be waiting for that, 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 that child formed in favor prayer point number three you are going to cry now listen 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 i told you there is the sovereign dimension of god's will you are going to cry for help help don't cry for money lord a helper can come i call him to my life lift your voice and pray Masataka parataka tokatesh. A helper. A helper. Are you praying? A helper. A helper. A helper. It can be this.
this difficult. It can't be this difficult. It can't be this difficult. Bring a helper to make my life easy, oh God. So that I can have the time to serve you. So that I can have the concentration to focus on my assignment. Lord, I'm tired of financial distractions. Lord, I'm tired of material destruction. Send a helper to clear the way that I can serve you. Send a helper. Are you praying? Are you praying? Don't look around. Pray. A helper must show up. A helper must show up. A helper must show up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Kai, I tell you, I'm, 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 I, I feel the joy in my spirit for the prayers we are praying. I know this prayer is doing something in the realm of the spirit. The last prayer point. I want you to pray this with all your heart. You are going to cry and say, Lord, the prophetic push. That one you can have it this night, right now. That one is available for you. It's up for you to receive. You are going to pray and say, Lord, the prophetic push. That push I need. That impartation, that prophetic push for my ministry, for my life, for my family. Lord, my family is in hellfire. We must come out this night. Lift your voice and pray. Pray outside, pray. Online, pray. Wherever you're connecting from any nation of the world, pray, pray. Pray your way to a new level. Pray your way to a new dimension. Pray your way. Shaka taka ta. Reko to 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 reke reke te. Reko sopo to to bas. Ebra kata na kato seke te. Reko sepe ke te ke te ke te. Neke te ke te bros kapari ata ta. Shapa ko to 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 pe reke te 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 te. Reko to sopo pe ke te ke te. Pray. Hallelujah. Listen. Never forget this kingdom key. It's a mystery that has been responsible for the, the mysterious rising of stars. No father, no mother, notwithstanding, they rose. No education, no experience, notwithstanding, they rose. Come on now. Life delayed and battered. The enemy ate a major part of their life, but in one year they recovered. Through men. Through men. Never forget this. He gave gifts to men. He gave gifts to men. Man of God, I'm 45 years. I've wasted my life. Don't worry. One man, one man can step into your life and answer the question of 10 years. Man of God, my business is grounded. Listen, listen. Do you know, while the Lord asked me to prepare for this message, I was watching Channels TV and I saw how that Eric L was about to pack up because they were in debt. It was so much. And imagine a big, one of the biggest airlines in the country. I love them, of course. I know that there are people who work there who might be listening right now. And for me, I felt so sad because I know how our administration depends on that airline alone. There are places only them can go. And I started thinking, I said, my God, that means there has to be another plan. And the only other plan can be chartered services. 
and all of a sudden I just had that Amcon representing the federal government said they are too they are too important to let them crash and they said we are coming to wage you I said this is my message this is my message the federal government how many airlines I don't want to mention names have crashed in our presence federal government waved them and said you, you are in debt but that a man is almost falling and then a hand picks him you are too valuable to fall so I help you listen so you are making a mistake and you are about to die you don't even know what kingdom key then God wakes somebody to start interceding for you because you are too valuable before you catch the revelation someone else is already praying for you hallelujah expect God to step into your family expect God to step into your life expect God to put favor upon you the reason why people succeed in this life the favor of God is true expect it life by default and without the assistance of God is impossible to live it's not hard it's impossible you will never be able to walk in the dignity of kingdom integrity and live life as it should be unassisted by God no so he interjects your life with different systems of advantage like mercy like favor like speed like restoration all these things are divine forces that work together to make your life become what the word of God says should become so a woman here for instance who has been barren say for six seven years now if God gives you one child that's good news but that's progress not restoration because you will still have to wait three years get pregnant again wait three years get pregnant you must add 12 years to have the four children so god gives you triplets in nine months now that one is no longer progress that's restoration he has brought nine years spacing in nine months are we together god calculates your salary like arias and brings it through favor in one transfer God shifts you to a level of anointing that you should have walked in. Had it been your uncle allowed you to be diligent, attending church, serving in the house of God, there are certain levels in the spirit you would have walked in right now. But because he stopped you and clamped you down and things didn't look like they were walking, many things just went down in your life. And because of that, watch this, because of that, you got grounded and could not know God fast. And God can lead you to an uncommon mentorship, an uncommon anointing. In six months, you will receive a grace that is 15 years old. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Jacob collected Esau's birthright. He didn't know that Esau was supposed to suffer seven years. When he collected his birthright, Esau's own plus, his own, he served 14 years. It's not about exchanging of women. It's destiny playing out. Their family had delay. I hope you know. From Abraham, it was a challenge. So both of the sons individually, whether they was collecting birthright or not, they would have paid their seven years. Watch this. But Jacob collected Esau's. It only played out using women. But it still played out. That means you can collect someone's speed too. You see that? It's true. Sit down. Please sit down. You can come with a load that is supposed to be 10 years according to the normal sequence of occurrence based on the allowance your family gives and you come under the influence of a covenant that forces your life to look like the grace upon that territory it's true find a way of believing what i'm saying i've shown you luke chapter one to tell you the certainty of these things it is not those who like you that bless you alone it's those who are directed for everybody to like you do you know how long it takes to like a man sometimes you just need to hear god and obey fast your life requires speed hallelujah there are times because of what god wants to do in your life 
when he finds out that four people need to be blessed to reach you whether they are praying or not he will hurry them quickly because they are delaying you he will hurry them for your sake when you come for a meeting like this be conscious of four things number one be conscious of every prophetic word that comes relating to your issues of concern be conscious of it when these words come don't think they are just empty speakings the carnal man cannot discern the things of god the word of god is like a tray you have to receive the tray before you receive what is on it are we together now the word of god is a tray it carries miracles carries deliverance carries healings so when you receive the word the engrafted word you now take what is in it be conscious of the prophetic word number two be conscious of the covenant covenant is a very deep spiritual word many people just shout covenant around but they don't even know what it means listen a covenant is a system that commits god and causes him to vow to ensure that a person or an institution continues to receive certain predictable outcomes it's a covenant there is the covenant of answered prayer there is the covenant of god's presence there is a covenant of results every man that god truly calls and every ministry that god truly ordains there are underlying spiritual covenants the platform upon which god put his vow and his integrity that has touching this and this i will make happen it's true also be conscious of the graces you see that the graces that are available within that territory you cannot receive a man's covenant you can only partake of it but you can receive graces you are a pastor you come and your church is grounded you only have 50 members during your annual thanksgiving thank god for that but something is wrong god is a god of increase you can come with hearts open to receive the grace how about hardship things not working well how about your spiritual growth you are at the same level for five years the knowledge of scripture zero health of your prayer life zero you are a man of god and nobody is placing a demand on the grace of god that you have it will frustrate you eventually but there are graces every possibility in the kingdom is governed by an operation of grace when that grace comes upon your life your result shows thou anointest my head with oil the result shows through my cup he does not anoint your cup he anoints your head your cup proves what is on your head are we together now so this is very important thank you and you have to understand the way this works we are going to pray shortly and i need you to know how this works i want you to receive be conscious of the graces not some of you may not need may not need a miracle like miracle from sickness or whatever but understand that when you come it's like an exchange of graces listen the bible says give us please second corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 please give it to us quickly second corinthians 9 and verse 8 praise the lord read with me please koinonia ready one to read stop 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 god is able to make all grace let me explain that to you please all of you come stand anywhere you want to stand just stand anywhere scatter yourself around don't come close to me just stand watch this call these guys graces the grace for prosperity the grace for favor the grace for speed the grace for spiritual fire the grace for influence watch this access to the hearts of men this is you this is your destiny and the bible says the way we advance is that we need to be in touch with all graces not some i can have the grace for prosperity and i'm rich but i suffer but i succeed you are rich but no man helps you because you don't have favor you only have prosperity the proof of favor is not money is the loyalty of men if you do not have access to the hearts of men you don't have favor you may have resources so this guy has prosperity 
so he will labor wake up in the morning sleep late in the night eat the bread of sorrow mix it with hard work and eventually prosper but as far as spiritual fire is concerned the grace that plants in a man the hunger and the passion for the things of god is not in him so that grace is not there he has some but not all and the part the grace dimension he does not have the deficiency of it will show in his life he is getting richer but not as his soul prospers this is the grace he needs when you pray and intercede for this man now god will answer your prayer by channeling him to a ministry or a man of god that has this dimension so that in addition it will be added to him are we together now now listen very carefully please look up everybody so god is one of the things that happens here is that the spirit of god continues to move like a wind and he scans your life which grace do you need in this season that you do not yet have this is one of the biggest miracle that happens in a miracle service most people do not know you sit under this atmosphere and there is an updating it's like a software god finds out that this level you are entering into there are at least 21 graces but as it is there are only four so while the meeting worship is going prayer is going there is an upgrade that grace so here's what the bible says god is able to make hold my hands so you come for koinonia miracle service dry nothing is on your head and nothing is around your life too because what is around you is a is a report card telling what is on you are we together now you obtain the grace that makes for abundance for the sake and the grace for wealth that works in this ministry forces you to love god while you are wealthy if you receive a grace that makes you wealthy and as you are rising in wealth you are leaving god that anointing did not come from this ministry the grace for this ministry has been it has been edited to a covenant to ensure that as men rise their hearts also rise for god not the kind of nonsense money that makes you leave god you don't honor anything that has to do with god again no it is as you prosper even as your soul prospers it's babylon that gives wealth that prospers you and diminishes your soul watch this so you receive this grace and then the holy spirit finds out grace for what favor come watch this praise and worship you got this one during praise and worship you didn't even know why you felt like falling you just thought that ah the song was so nice something had landed on your head are we together now this is speed hold me now my dear watch this this is what is happening in koinonia you are sitting down but you just know that there is a weight that glory something is coming on you you can't tell you are not even falling you are not shouting you will look at someone shouting and feel bad and feel like i i wish i'm the person falling whereas the holy ghost is doing very serious things and then access to the hearts of men this is your package for miracle service now you receive this watch this we now share the grace watch this watch this remember you travel from another nation the uk us kenya wherever and then you just came and at the end of the service satan can even fool you you are from kenya oh i see please sit down madam i see how it's a kenyan uh, god bless you now watch this you can receive this and while you receive it they will share the grace and you will still feel like nothing came on you but you see the exam is not marked in church go out listen please koinonia understand what i teach you and god is able you came for a meeting and you carried this in two days someone who forgot you no listen he does not just remember i've taught you this last week a book is open in the realm of the spirit by reason of the grace that you carry watch this in one week a strange grace for illumination you think hold on you think is the spirit of revelation it's not revelation is speed it's just that speed demands revelation there are graces when you carry they call others too so that they will work well in your life and god is able god is able god is able 
there are people because of the graces you carry you will sustain the grace to fast for three days for one week remember that was a condition god gave you to allow your spirit allow him do certain things but the fortitude to fast that long was not there so the grace comes and while you wait upon the lord 10 years immediately is released within one month listen if all you see is just physical healings and deliverances you are not seeing well the major part of what calls listen one of the major reasons why god sends people from other nations and other places to this place is number one to be able to stand by the grace he has provided for to solve their problems but more than that to expose you to ancient mantles these are graces that were there by covenant listen there is nothing i carry that is as old as me everything i carry is older than me by far we are only stewards the grace predates us it's a relay we are running others ran it and god added on it and gave us to hold it for a generation to know the certainty of the things whereof you have been instructed please hear me if you believe what i share with you tonight you will marvel and you will wonder you can choose tonight to agree with god that every challenge except it does not have a name that in this place this night god will bring it down we are going to have like 10 minutes of serious prayer now listen please during that time of prayer forget about who is by your left and right forget about me just stay with god and pray passionately for the next 10 minutes lord i came for an encounter i came to receive healing i came to receive deliverance but i came to also attach myself to covenants i came by the spirit to receive graces outside inside online lift your voice and pray be restoration please bring them out quickly 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 let's save time please in the break to Shilakata restoration now I speak it by the spirit the power of God is still coming on people recover recover by the spirit recover I stretch my hands recover by the power of prophecy recover Recover years lost. Recover opportunities. E Paris ke barashanda la katariata. Recover in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare God is bringing recovery. Let me tell you, you will marvel and wonder that the things you thought has left you, you are about to find it waiting for you in your tomorrow. I speak to you, may that grace come upon you now again. Recovery. Recovery, recovery, shamana katabadakata, restoration. I want to take authority over the spirit of delay. I'm seeing many people, your feet is chained in the spirit. You want to make progress, but you cannot make progress. Fire is falling from heaven now. I decree and declare inside, outside, all the overflows, anyone under the sound of my voice who is under the influence of the spirit of delay at the count of three may fire from heaven fall upon those chains one two three i break those chains now be free now from delay be free now be free now be free now, be free now. I will hasten my word to perform it i will not just perform it i will give speed to my word the word is quick and powerful i declare again any family here any individual under the yoke of delay 
I speak to you by the spirit. That yoke is broken now. That yoke is broken now. Broken by the spirit. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray. Please listen. I have prayed this prayer. And for those of you who have missed it in time past. May God grant you the grace to receive it now. Listen. Truly speaking. There is a grace for speed. Please hear me. A man's lifetime cannot allow the fullness of the purposes of God to be birthed. Some of you gave your life to Christ late already in life. It's not enough to rebuke delay. You must obtain the grace for speed. And watch this. I'm about to pray for people now. And that anointing is coming on people. As usual, you'll find people running by the spirit. But I need to release that anointing. Father, I stand under heaven in this miracle service. There are people who have traveled from several nations and several territories at the count of three for you and for your family. That dimension of speed where 10 years can be put in one year. I declare right now, let it come upon you. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Speed. Parush Kabarakata. Speed. Career speed. I give speed to your life. Speed to ministry. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Speed. Hello, Madonna. Hallelujah. Mommy. Please look at me, ma. Don't be embarrassed. I don't know you, but I'm seeing strong witchcraft over your family. Where are you coming from, madam? Madam, I'm looking at you. I'm seeing River State. Where are you from? States. Huh? States. River State. Yes, sir. The Lord says I should tell you that from this night, things will change in your life. She's your mother. Help that woman, please. I'm looking at the Lord in the spirit. I'm putting my hand inside a river. And I'm bringing something out. And the Lord says the destiny of this family. In the name of Jesus. That's the daughter. I command by the spirit. Every planting that is not of the Lord. I overturn and I uproot now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Naomi? I'm hearing a name, Naomi. We have to hurry up. I want to pray for the sick. Naomi. Hello, Kim Madonna. The Naomi I'm talking about is outside. Where are you coming from? Come, stand. Your name is not Naomi. Is your name Naomi? What's your name? Come, stand. Where are you coming from, my dear? UK. From where? UK. I want to pray for you. Your name is Naomi. Come and stand. We have to hurry up. Hold on. I cancel CS. I, Madam, look at me. I stretch my hands now. I cancel CS by the spirit of the living God and I decree and declare like the Hebrew women you will give birth in the name of Jesus Christ I'm saying it again I correct what I'm seeing in the name of Jesus this is what doctors say baby is breached in the name of Jesus by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I correct it now may you give birth normally like the Hebrew women in Jesus name let me pray Are you married? You are backing a baby. Where is the baby? I'm looking at you in a vision. That's why I'm saying, how can this? You know, I'm saying you came to Koinonia. You are backing a baby outside. This is the vision. I'm... 
you are not getting what I'm saying is this you were backing this baby when I mentioned your case huh? were you backing a baby that's why I'm saying are you married because you look too small to be a married woman this is the real person I want to pray for bring this little baby God is I don't know whose child is this your child but God this lady you see is going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of God she looks like a little girl in the name of Jesus what's her name Nicole. Nicole she may not know what we are doing but we stand in the presence of the people of God we anoint this lady may she become a Deborah to her generation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ my dear let me pray for you where are you from Kogi State I want to pray for you huh. immediately she mentioned Kogi State I saw what I used to see now now I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the power of God going to Kogi State Kogi State I'm praying now it's a sign and wonder every time I see that if you are from that locality the power of God comes on you immediately in the name of Jesus I command witchcraft associated with that territory even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captive shall be delivered hallelujah who is Magdalene Magdalene my dear come in the name of Jesus Christ I anoint you there is grace you look young but you are going to be a mother to men this is what I'm saying in the name of Jesus may the Lord anoint you and make it so my dear I rebuke the hand of witchcraft now release her I'm seeing chains on you I declare by the spirit release this lady now I'm about to minister deliverance shortly release her now in the name of Jesus please bring someone in overflow too now a lady the power of God is coming upon that lady now as I speak overflow too mighty fire of God is coming please bring her quickly we have to save time in the name of Jesus I pray for you come my dear the grace that will want to make married men disturb you look at me I come against that spirit now not only you there are five other people I'm seeing I don't know where they are but in Jesus name there is a like like it like an almost like an evil anointing that makes only married people to look for you in the name of Jesus by the God of heaven I lift that negative thing of your life now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I hear the name Magdalene I don't know if Magdalene I want to pray very quickly we have to pray for the sick you are the covenant keeping I'm seeing your feet in mud. In the name of Jesus, I lift you out of this tragedy by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I speak to this lady. I'm seeing this lady, but all I'm seeing is snakes completely. I declare be free now by the Spirit of the living God. The Bible says, now the Lord is that Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Be free right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let me pray for you, my dear grace for you the favor that is on your life I command it to start speaking it will not only be a name that is on you it will speak right now in Jesus name your sister 
Your name is Magdalene. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you. Look at me. The Lord is taking away shame and reproach from your life. These two things. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Please stand up. I speak to you by the God of heaven. The month of November, a big miracle is coming to your life. A big miracle. I lay my hands upon you and I declare in the name of Jesus, be free right now. Why is this girl here? This Magdalene? Come, my dear. I pray for you. Place your hand on your head. I declare, oh God, let this chain be taken now. I'm seeing a chain on this girl's head. Be removed now. Be removed this like the devil wanting to just bring this lady under captivity. I remove it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody lay your hands on her. So anybody just touch her. Release her now by the Spirit of God. There's no place for you. Take everything that belongs to her. Restore it and go. Now. Now please listen. I want to minister deliverance. Please believe it. You may not know. The woman from Kenya. Come. It's time for God to change your life. Please stand up. When did you come here? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday, yes. you came here. God is about to turn your life around. Amen. Glory. You are still coming, and you are coming with four people the next time you are coming. Amen. Thank you. Jesus. Madam, what do you do? Madam, what do you do? I'm a commissioner for human rights. Commissioner for human rights yes. in Nairobi. Yes. In, in two weeks, I'm going to be in your nation. I would like to see you, Amen. your nation. There is a reason why I'm talking. I'm not seeing you alone. I'm seeing four other people yes. that the Lord wants me to pray for. Yes. But I want to pray for you, madam. Because I don't know if you believe it or not. You have a political destiny. As you are like this, looking at me. You have a political destiny in Kenya. And God, by his spirit, is going to make this happen. But another thing is there is also the call of God upon your life. You are a woman that loves God. There is, is starting like an intercessory grace and a prophetic grace. But you get to a point where among the graces God will give you is the grace to pray for barren women. Notice this grace. God is going to bring this grace upon you. God, I'm also seeing you build a charity foundation. There is going to be a mighty humanitarian foundation that I see you build. I'm seeing foodstuff. And I'm seeing different things. First, it will have to do with young girls, people who have been abused and so on. But I see it not only that, I see women too. Women. God is going to increase your influence. I lay my hands upon you and I declare by the Spirit, carry this grace. Go to Kenya with it. Go and excel. I command the two lift gates of Nairobi and the entire Kenya to be open for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go with this anointing. Go and prosper. May the Lord multiply your political career. And may the Lord prepare you for the mighty ministerial assignment he has for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. An angel of the Lord is standing here. Someone will shout here under a strong anointing. I just saw that grace. I don't know. First, I think until the shout happens, I know why God, just from here right to the back, there is an anointing. I just saw a, a very mighty manifestation of the power of God here. Now, listen, whether you know it or not, if there is anything influencing your, your destiny that is not of the Christ, it's about to give way right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. At the count of three, hear me. Whether you are inside, outside, or following online, I want you to shout that name Jesus with understanding. It's not just a chant. My Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower, not a weak tower. The righteous run it to it and they are saved. I want to pray for you. 
I know you shouted in other months, but great deliverance, great deliverance is about to come your way. Father, I pray that every spirit in this place that does not name the name of the Christ, that is sitting on the destinies of men and women, manipulating their results, I stand and call upon the God of Jeshurun, the one that rides upon the wind, and I declare, let there be deliverance. At the count of three, shout that name, Jesus. One, two, three. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Please bring them out. Be free now. Overflow one. Overflow two. Overflow three. All the extension online. I declare, be free now from ancestry be free from foundations be free from witchcraft bring them out operations of darkness i'm seeing a womb like the drawing of a woman's womb and i'm seeing it close it doesn't just mean physical barrenness it means a spirit that is closing the door of results many people cannot get results but right now that door is about to open and i stand by the god of heaven by the fire of the holy ghost everyone's destiny that has been closed so that it will not find manifestation at the count of three let it be open one two three be open now be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now.
placing, listen please. The Lord is placing a very strange grace for finances. Listen to me. Please, I want you to believe it. There is a grace for finances and it's coming on many people. I'm not asking you what you are doing. I'm not asking you what you know. I'm telling you what God is doing. I stand by the God of heaven and I declare, Father, the men and women that must enter into this dimension, as you are showing me at the count of three, may that grace rest upon you. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. A strength grace for abundance. Receive supplies. Let things work in a way that will surprise you. I command things to work in a way that will marvel you. mighty God a few minutes we are going to pray for the sick now now please listen I'm only going to do this for this overflow and overflow one that's not to mean I'm neglecting the remaining it's just a revelation that God is giving me there are two angels standing by my left and my right and every time I see this God wants me to move listen hear me except God is not God when I pass any road where you are anything that does not name the name of the Christ and any dimension that is not of God in your life it must give way now I only do this for this and overflow one afterwards we are going to pray for the sick please I want you to just believe I don't know why God does these things but I want you to believe that he is mighty and that he will glorify himself father in the name of Jesus Christ glorify yourself change everything that needs to be changed many of you will be receiving impartations that will shift you to dimensions I want you to believe it I will pray not everywhere but there are a few people I'm seeing this happen by the Spirit I shift you in the Spirit every limitation that does not name the name of Christ I'm praying mantles anointings by the Spirit coming on people right now let that presence of God shift you to dimension in the name of Jesus dimension I'm seeing a chain around here I break that chain now I'm seeing a chain around here let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now break now break now break now Chains be broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, God is turning your life around. Where are you coming from? Kaduna State. In the name of Jesus. Break now. In the name of Jesus. Be free now from everything that is not of God free now something is breaking here something is breaking here something is breaking here Parusha I break it now 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 by the spirit of the living God I break it now mama I break it now I break it now Somebody, I'm 
sensing an evil spirit just around here. I come against you now. I take authority over that influence. You must go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Overflow one, lift your voice and pray in the spirit. Harusa Sigadesh. Now listen. Please be your brother's keeper. You don't have to touch me. Please be your brother's keeper so you don't enjoy yourself. But as I pass here, anything that is not of God is about to give way right now. Thank you, Jesus. Go now. Let it go now. Let it go now. Let it go now. All times, I come against you now. In Release them now, release them now, release them now, release them now. I'm still what looks like an altar right here. Release them now in the name of Jesus. Harusa Sikete, be free now, be free now, be free now, be free now. The spirit of delay right here is breaking, breaking over someone's family. Be broken now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be broken now. Be broken now. Beauty and glory to your life. In the name of Jesus. Now watch this. Listen. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. I'm standing here and I'm seeing who is Rebecca. Rebecca. They call you Becky. Rebecca. Just not inside. Here you are. What's your name? Rebecca. Don't worry, it's okay. What's your name? Don't just come out if in the name of Jesus Christ, come. I end oppression now over your life and your family. Oh, you, my dear, your name is Rebecca. Where are you from? You are from are you from Makodi? Benway State. In the name of Jesus. I keep seeing this spirit every time I pray for people. That thing they call Aleku A L something K U. In the name of Jesus, I cast that spirit by the God of heaven. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of that spirit, you are from that region, I stand by the God of heaven. Let it come to an end now. Help them, please. Let it come to an end now. In the name of Jesus. Hold on, please. Right here. There is a gentle man who will be mightily used by God. I just saw a strong mantle from my head resting on someone. I stretch my hands. Lord, I don't know where they are. Parus kabadu sheleketa. Let that grace come on you now. Strange mantle, prayer fire, word fire, illumination in the spirit. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. I'm standing here and I'm seeing a family with a yoke of marital delay I'm seeing something that looks like an arrow just coming from heaven right now let deliverance come now let it come now I'm still moving the hand of God is coming to people right now thank you Jesus thank you Jesus please you don't have to touch me in the name of Jesus right here financial stagnation comes to an end an anointing is coming on someone for your family financial stagnation let it be over now my dear be free now out now someone here the power of God is coming on that person be free now free from everything that is not of God New dimensions, new dimensions. I'm seeing an anointing here. New dimension. The old story must leave you. That's what God is saying. I'm prophesying to someone here. The old story must leave you. The old is gone so that the new will come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where is the woman? Wait, hold on, please. I held someone's hand now holding a photo of a sick patient 
Where is she? Come. Who is this? Where is he? He's in China. What's wrong with him? He's depressed now. If I don't pray for him, I'm seeing him inside a coffin. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, let there be deliverance for him now. What's his name? Ibrahim. This is not only something affecting him. This is something that is influencing the entire family. But I stand by the God of heaven and I set you free. In the name of Jesus, be completely free. And I speak to him, Ibrahim, may the power of God touch you and perfect you now and perfect you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the sick. My friend, this man looking at me, come. Where are you coming from? Huh? You are from Kogi State. What do you do? Are you a man of God? You came here trusting God for fresh fire. Come. You are about to receive it because I'm seeing you from Kogi State. You, where is your church? Look at me, sir. Where You have a church? You are under a church. Mm. A time will come God will give you your own work. Now God is preparing you. Be faithful. You will go, but now is not the time. You leave now, you will suffer for nothing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't let sincere people come and push you out of the will of God. But surely a time is coming and you will walk in very strange dimensions of the anointing. Father, I lay my hands upon this man. Let his dealings with the spirit progress. In the name of Jesus. Not only an impartation, a dealing that produces real power in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This lady with green, this lady, you, come. The Lord is about to turn your life around in a way that will surprise you. Two things will happen to you. Number one, I'm seeing restoration. God is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration. Number two, I'm seeing the gift of men. Please do listen to my message. Help them on the gift of men. God is bringing people strangely to lift you. I lay my hands upon you and I pray, may this grace be effectual. Carry that grace right now. And you will start having visions. Visions. God is going to start giving you dreams and he will start giving you visions. In the name of Jesus. This is very strange what I'm seeing. Except that I saw it, I will not say it. Stop running away from the call. You are a man of God's wife. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm saying what does not make sense. Stop running from the call. You are the wife of a man of God, a minister of the gospel. The Lord will bring performance to his word. This thing I tell you is a strange mystery. The way God works. But in the name of Jesus, I place the word of God upon that prophecy. It's time for you to not fight the will of God. It's time for you to relinquish your own will. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray just one prayer point. The Lord is asking me, immediately we do that, we'll pray for the sick and we'll start submitting our request. Where is that young lady that came out with one mama while I was praying for her? There's a young lady that was wearing glasses. I don't, if, if you are here, you are the one. What do you do? You are going to be very wealthy. Come. Are you a lawyer? Huh? This is your mother? Where are you coming from, mother? Okay, you are the reverse woman. This lady you see is going to be extremely wealthy. Because I'm seeing you a lawyer. And you are going to, you, I don't know what area of law you are going to specialize, but I'm seeing you sitting with so many business people. This is a lot of business people. Signing contracts, helping people to process a lot of things. Millions, huh? That's what? That's where she is right now. Doing some things abroad. She's what? That's what she's doing right now, where she works. That's what she's doing now. Right now, where she works. Because I'm seeing God will just cause them to like her. 
It's not every man that is a foolish and a stupid man. There are people who are out to genuinely bless. Yes, sir. And I pray for your daughter and I connect her by the Spirit. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. she will find these people. Amen. And in the name of Jesus, she will shift her to another dimension. Amen. Mama, God is saying I should tell you, forgive. Does it make sense to you? Yes, my husband also is a lawyer. but Your husband is a lawyer? Yes, yes. What was the issue? Nothing is happening. Don't worry, ma. Do you know why you fell under the anointing? You fell on behalf of all the troubles in your... It wasn't just your personal falling alone. There are times that you fall representing all of these troubles. Because this is not what I'm even saying. God is saying I should tell you to forgive. Forgiveness. Now, it doesn't make sense. And God has not given me an interpretation. But let me tell you this. You see, look up. The average person seated here has been hurt by someone. Whether friends, are we together? Uncles, relatives, people you trusted and they betrayed you. Let me tell you something about unforgiveness. Unforgiveness is a terrible spirit. It's one of the master secrets to delay. Unforgiveness. It will keep you in one place forever. You are there angry and annoyed and most of what you'll be angry about is legitimate however you see forgiveness is a type of giving understand this forgiveness is still the, the giving grace that helps men to forgive the only thing with forgiveness is that you give in advance are we together the highest form of forgiveness is tolerance where you know it will happen again and you build a system around it to not hurt you. We live in a society that is so hot conscious. This one hurt me. This one did this. There are too many things that can create offense. The Bible says in nothing should you be offended. It's a choice. Mama, in the name of Jesus, please don't cry. I don't know what it is and why you are crying. But my dear, comfort your mother after the prayer. Eh? In the name of Jesus, what is before you? Is greater than anything that has caused you pain and in the name of Jesus forgive in the name of Jesus forgive I also pray for someone here do you know there are many couples that have not been able to forgive one another in marriages it can last for 10 years 20 years same room same bed but that bitterness especially for the men we don't know that this might be the secret the bible says for dishonoring your wife the consequence is that your heavens will be closed it's not a lie that's why you see men struggle and struggle and simple things become hard because of the propensity for bitterness make up your mind in this miracle service that you will let go and not only forgive but tolerate I wish I can tell you there are some things your loved ones are doing that they will never do again. But they will do it. Every time a door is about to open here, offense comes. It's a choice. I will not be offended. Are we together? Father, we pray for our daddy in the name of Jesus. The kind of miracle that God will do in the life of this man. Let it be so powerful that everybody around will know that this is the doing of the Lord. I decree it and I establish it. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a gentleman here. We are going to pray goodness. You see how time just runs. There is a gentleman here. You are a member of Mountain of Fire. Where are you? Mountain of Fire. You are a serious brother. Mountain of Fire. Now please. I'm, I'm not just saying you attend. Don't listen to instructions please. Right? MFM. My friend, you are serious. You come from where? MFM Kano. MFM Kano. How about you? MFM Calabar. How about you? Lagos. Lagos. I want to pray. I'm not saying if you are from MFM, just come out like that. There are particular people. It doesn't matter what denomination you are from. Once you are here, huh? this is a universal, this is a master key. It will complement on what every grace and every man and woman of God is doing. But I want to pray for you. My friend, I, I'm, going, I'm first going to pray for you. Where are you from? I'm from Akwa Ibom State. There is serious witchcraft sitting on your destiny. Yes, I hope sir. you are not embarrassed. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, sir. 
you need help you have prayed stand up please you are a prayer warrior you can pray you can do fasting huh? sometimes you just need a grace to help you you hear what I tell you I'm going to pray for you if I don't pray for you I'm seeing the spirit of death start sweeping people in your family like that like play like play until he starts killing people but let me tell you don't despise yourself you need a lot of mentorship but you are going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of God this brother you see is very serious with God huh? very serious with God you just need the right support impartations and a mentorship system that makes for balance in your life hold my hand father what's your name huh? Anthony Tony in the name of Jesus everything that represents witchcraft I join my faith with that of your father and your leader Dr. Daniel Odikoya and I decree in the name of Jesus be free now I decree by the power of the Holy Spirit the spirit of death far from your dwelling in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for you who is looking for a job uh -uh, I'm not saying I'm not on employment I'm talking to these guys that I, of course I know that people are trusting God for jobs where did you apply huh Kaduna service. the Lord says I should pray for you that they will give you do I know you applied for a job stand up prophecy is powerful in a moment God can just change things like that my dear let me tell you this it's not even the issue of Kaduna State Civil Service alone huh? God is going to give you unusual influence it will marvel you are we together now hold my hands you believe what i'm telling you yes father confirm your word in a way that will surprise this lady let that rejected stone in the name of jesus become the chief cornerstone receive of that grace in the name of jesus i speak it so i make it so i establish it by the power of prophecy let me pray for you gentlemen i don't know if it's you or someone related to you but there's someone god is giving a job someone looking for a job but i want to pray for you father you called out the gentlemen from MFM Kano and the remaining places. I decree and declare by the God of heaven that everything that represents witchcraft in your life, let it give way now. In the name of Jesus, let it give way now. Even by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm not going to ask you to come. God bless you. But I'm lifting up my hand. I'm seeing... You know how you cover a bride when you are about to marry before they remove that thing from her face this is what i'm seeing but that one is not pride of wedding this is evil covering your entire a human being with almost no head huh? and the lord is saying i should pray that that veil be torn i don't know who that person is but right now the power of god is going there there, there are many of you i perceive in the name of jesus that veil that has covered you so that no good thing finds you by the God of heaven and in the name of Jesus the Christ of God I declare that fail torn into pieces now torn into pieces now inside outside online torn into pieces now the last case I attend to and then we we'll begin to pray for the sick nothing ever lasts in your hand this is the problem you are trusting God for in fact is one of your requests nothing many good things continue to happen but they never last if a, if a season of open door comes three four months sometimes men can come into your life or women can come into your life and after two three months for reasons you cannot explain you have never sustained any blessing for up to two years as it comes you will see it sometimes you will go to bed in the night and you will have a dream you may see someone come maybe to molest you or to attempt to have an affair with you this is what i'm seeing the moment that thing happens it will not be up to one month and every good thing goes down but i'm praying right now 
in the name of Jesus whoever belongs to this category every attachment you have with spirits that are not of the Christ that warrant visitations in the night to molest and oppress you and spy into your liberty I declare by the Spirit of God be free now be free now help them please be free now be free now my dear come you come hold my hands it's your it's a new season for you by the anointing of the holy ghost step into a new season i've touched you I saw you climbing a ladder in the spirit. I release you into that dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have to hurry up and pray for the sick now. Now please watch this. This lady jumping. Shame and reproach. I call it by his name. And I command it to leave you now. shame and reproach to leave you and let you go in the name of Jesus someone will run by the anointing to me don't stop the person just hold the person this is what I'm seeing by the spirit this is a ministry of signs and wonders why these things I'm not saying to run consciously I'll send you back this is by the anointing please there is order in the house of God order in the church are we together the, the hand of God now as I speak is coming upon you. My soul longs and even thirsts for you. My heart and my flesh cries out for the living God. For the living God. Incline your ears with trembling and tears of yearning to the throne of grace to seek your face I'm burning longing for you I need you I need you I need you I need you, I need you. you. nothing I declare to all of you that came out by the spirit I shift you go forward now go forward now the power that holds you down I take authority over it in the name of Jesus go forward now I release your families to go forward now in the name of Jesus now please hear me our time is gone we have to be fast now listen for those who will be laying hands on you don't think that because it is not joshua selman laying hands on you remember i told you that there is a grace that everyone who is called to serve in this ministry and designated and mandated carries that grace we're about to pray for the sick now now listen please there are three conditions that i will want to minister lay hands on the people myself remember don't tell lies you cannot come to the truth lying are we together don't insist that i just want joshua selman to touch that's not the idea aside from those who are in the main auditorium that i request to come out if you're trusting god for a miracle if you are here and you are suffering from cancer number one number two you are suffering from hiv number three you are suffering from barrenness it doesn't matter what overflow you are in if you have any of these three cases please with those who are in the main auditorium i want you to join them and come otherwise please all the overflows move to your projector screen and stand there all as directed by the ushers of protocol anyone trusting god for to be prayed for for healing right now i want you to make your way to the front quickly and then in addition to that the three cases i've mentioned 
you come into the main auditorium and join please quickly we have to hurry up overflow one please walk to your projector stand overflow two i don't know from where now as directed walk to your projector stand overflow three walk to your projector stand um my god i don't know if there's overflow two b then just walk as you are directed somebody should stand in front of them and direct them appropriately please overflow four um also just move to your projector stand or as directed those online following from whatever nation of the world just connect by faith as we pray hallelujah now please watch this our time is gone and we're going to be doing this very fast listen please if you are here and you're yet to write your prayer request but adventure you are coming for the first time and you need an opportunity to write your prayer request please someone help them with a piece of paper or whatever it is that you will need everyone you can pen down your prayer request now when you're done please lift it and there will be ushers PR help them protocol help them whoever needs to help them let's make it very fast overflow one two three those online I believe that theirs has also been collated we're going to have everything now so that as soon as we are done we'll pray for the request the moment you are done please wave it or pass it to the person um, at the aisle where it can be picked give them room to write if you need a piece of paper you can help your friend or wave your hand the Lord thank God we have some hands tonight um, Pastor Jakes and Ejimi will do overflow three since there will be several people there overflow three they'll be ministering to overflow three Benga will go to overflow one promise overflow one two um, Kenny overflow two two a now two a or two B praise the Lord Isaac overflow two B Praise the Lord. Ima overflow. Overflow what now? What is left? Huh? Overflow. The last overflow. What overflow for? Okay. No overflow. To be go to overflow four. Praise the Lord. It will have to be a very quick walk because there are several people. I'll minister to the people here. Praise the Lord. Now please listen. Please except they want to talk to you prophetically don't worry listen just a touch is all that you need and i want you to believe by faith as soon as they touch you do what you couldn't do head back to your seat unfortunately because of the limited time we may not have time to take testimonies as you would have seen in many of my external ministrations for two reasons one this is a miracle service dedicated to ministering to people if we pray and say if you are healed come out it will take a lot of time we don't have that luxury of time praise the lord so we are doing three things at the same time one we are praying for the sick has, prom has promised okay 
Pastor Alpha, oh, uh, who is in overflow? One, only you, two of you. Okay, Pastor Alpha, join them in overflow. Three, Pastor Femi, uh huh, he, Pastor Femi should go to. Did I give you a place? Pastor Femi, join um, overflow two, two B. Okay, with with Ima now. 2B or 4. You are in 2. Only you. Okay, so, um, Femi, please join him in overflow 4. Overflow 4. Praise the Lord. Just direct them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand by this corporate grace. And we declare, let there be miracles right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please write your requests, believing. The worship team will lead us through a time of worship while we are doing this. It will be very fast. Afterwards, I will just pray and prophesy to everyone and then we'll try to tie it up tonight. But whilst you are sitting, make sure you connect by faith. You can involve your loved ones. Let them know that God is moving right now. He's blessing people. Lord, we give you all the praise. Let there be great miracles by the Spirit of God. In Jesus' name I pray. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your patience. Please rise up on your feet. If they are still praying for you, where, wherever, whatever, overflow, don't worry. Just, just hang on there. Please stretch your hands to this request as we pray. I'd like you to open your mouth and begin to declare by the Spirit. Unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Please lift your voice, everyone. Let's have all the requests here, please. If there are people who are yet to submit... Shabarus kabarata shiketia, embrato zezi alagata. I like you to stretch your hands to this request as you declare that these Egyptians that I see today, I see no more forever. Shabrato skaparu zedegetia, rakata baranda skete balakoto shiata, embrato skaparu shalakatos, rekete baruda shiata. Lord, turn impossible situations around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, release miracles, release solutions, break yokes, oh God. Turn around family situations for your name's sake. Reveal callings, reveal destinies. Let your people find purpose. Let your people find direction. Make sure you are praying. Lord, stay the power of darkness over the requests of your people. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please agree with me in the name of Jesus. Amen. Louder amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, tonight we come to you. The God that can answer prayers. And Lord, I decree, standing in the presence of your people, thousands of people have submitted their requests a representation of their expectations their pain their disappointments their anticipations lord i decree and declare that every spirit that is back of these problems we declare lose your grip now lose your grip now number two I declare that every grace that needs to be released towards you for these requests to be granted by the message of the God of heaven we decree and declare by faith we channel these graces to you every human agent whose mind needs to be touched by God to allow this request to be answered in the name of Jesus, we call on the Father of Spirits to touch them on that wise. And every request that remains because of the hardness of the hearts of men, we 
break that hardness now. Father, answer speedily. Lord, answer speedily. Turn situations around. Every death sentence represented in this request, we declare that death sentence is cancelled. In the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we give you praise because we declare by faith, the very faith of the Son of God, that these requests are met in Jesus' name. As I stand upon these requests, I declare by the spirit of faith that in the mighty name of Jesus, that which God has done now remains permanent in Jesus' name. And I prophesy over you by the God of heaven, the Egyptians that you see today, that pursued you from Egypt to the Red Sea and beyond, I declare by the Spirit, you will see them no more forever. No matter how long you have been in Egypt, if you go out of Egypt, no going back. In the name of Jesus, between now and the next three weeks, may the God of heaven, in the name of Jesus, 21 days was the maximum time of contention in the realm of the spirit. I decree and declare it will not exceed three weeks. And every request that has been released already but has been hijacked by men and systems i mount pressure on those men and systems to allow this request manifest i mount pressure on those systems allow this request manifest let it be so in the name of jesus give jesus praise hallelujah i'm going to declare the last prophetic one over everyone here Please, I'd like you to be sensitive. Don't be careless about it. Hallelujah. Please, they can come and pick it. I believe in the power of prophecy. The spoken word is also creative. It can make things happen. It not only reveals what will happen, it makes things that has no business happening to happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare over you, please hear me, by the God of heaven, every door that has been closed over your destiny, I stand here as the servant of the living God. I force that door to open now. Everyone trusting God for a job, a meaningful job, not a nonsense job that does not have honor. I pray now. A job that will not take your relationship away from God. A job that will not make you compromise. Receive that job in the name of Jesus. I pray for your spiritual life. The kind of fire that you need on your prayer life in this season. I speak over you. Receive fresh fire. Access to revelation, access to light. Receive it in Jesus' name. Every helper of your destiny who must show up in this season to make the word of God to come to pass, I command them to appear now. I preached last week on the book of remembrance. Let me pray that prayer. In the name of Jesus, I open the book, both in the heavens and in the earth, and I declare every good thing you have done to any man on earth, I compel remembrance now. I compel remembrance now. every kind of barrenness biological barrenness financial barrenness career barrenness ministerial barrenness i cause it now and i command it to leave you let me pray over the spirit of death 
any family here appointed unto death i speak by the god of heaven be free now number two every family appointed unto hardship that you will never see the goodness and the salvation of the lord i cancel that pronouncement now listen by the blood of the eternal covenant in the name of jesus i cause every foundational issue that causes hardship and pain and retrogression over your life now the kind of honor you have never seen in your life i speak to you by the spirit step into it let me pray for favor i will never stop praying this prayer till you carry it bodily access to the hearts of kings access to the resources of kings receive it now by favor restoration of visions dreams listen there are many of you who used to have dreams and encounters nothing crosses over you without your eyes seeing it but it looks like you are becoming like eli your eyes becoming dim i pray for you i fan back your vision to flames in the name of jesus every pattern that is in any family you see it in your siblings you see it in your life i declare let it be broken now anyone in ministry here please hear me i speak to you as you return back to your various stations let fire fall upon your altar I pray for everyone in business dying business dead business let it come back to life now please don't just say amen believe creation is happening everything God showed you from the beginning of this year and told you should have entered your hand by now but the devil is adding 30 extra years to your 400 years i push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ hear me i speak to you by the god of heaven any man that fights you goes down instantly And anyone holding what is yours and has vowed not to release it in the name of Jesus may God humble the pride of wicked men anyone who has said over my dead body for this family to move may God answer their prayers I open the door of favor towards every family here in the name of Jesus all our ladies and all the women that are due to give birth I declare give birth like the Hebrew women in the name of Jesus let me pray for all the gentlemen our time is gone but I must pray for you the grace that establishes a man early may that grace rest on you for those of you who are still 30 years 35 40 50 still loitering your parents house eating your mother's food not just as honor but as a necessity in the name of jesus by the god who is the lifter of men I declare may that reproach live your life now anyone here called barren 
in Jesus name by November miracle service you come here pregnant already let me pray for every ministry here every prayer group every platform intercessory groups churches fresh grace for you in the name of Jesus Christ the final prayer I'm going to pray for you honor is what makes men reward you listen 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 honor is the ability to discern the ability to celebrate and the ability to reward men for their uniqueness you can be as anointed as anything but when honor is not on you men will only just celebrate you from afar but you will never live a rewarded life i pray the prayer that jabez cried unto god for the bible says and jabez was more honorable than his brethren i pray for you everywhere you find yourself rise above your contemporaries let me pray the last prayer point don't say it's not important there are people here your life is not advancing the kingdom in any way this is not altar call this prayer for you to settle down and let your life advance as far as God is concerned you are time on earth if your life does not find a space to advance the kingdom not your work not your service not your worship it looks like nothing about your life there is no kingdom come represented in your life you are just living for yourself hand to mouth to marry have children maybe go to school get a job i redirect your focus now in the name of jesus christ may your life and everything involved around it cause the kingdom the power and the glory of god to be manifest in the name of jesus and every other request here whether mentioned or not i stand in agreement with you in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god receive it as a testimony in the next one minute whether you are in overflow one two three or here you are yet to make jesus lord of your life genuinely please no movement and or you are saying apostle i've handed my life over to jesus but for some reason things have just scattered around my life and i don't seem to gain any footing and bearing and i want to make my way right with god please whether you are in overflow one overflow two the main auditorium aside from overflow three please i'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here right now koinonia celebrate them don't wait for anyone to come first quickly if you're coming please come and stand come and stand apostle i'm not sure if i'm saved or not join them quickly join them quickly koinonia is this the best you can do join them quickly scripture says you must be born again if you're coming from outside please make it snappy make it as fast as possible hallelujah i salute every one of you here please lift your right hand believe that jesus is here standing before you gentlemen and ladies please join them very quickly if you're coming please come quickly 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 you're coming come very quickly thank you now say this after me say it passionately say it truthfully believing that jesus is here and he will honor your confession of faith say after me lord jesus tonight i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification tonight i ask you to be my lord my savior and my king i receive eternal life into my spirit i receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and i declare that from tonight and forever 
I move forward ever, backward never. These three ladies didn't pray the prayer. Somebody direct them and let them pray that prayer. The prayer is already finished. You, this yellow girl, and those two, those my sisters. Or shall any of you, are you not Christians? Direct them. Someone pray the prayer with them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare right now, begin to walk in victory in Jesus' name. I introduce you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. You will know him. You will walk in his ways. You will command strange results in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I call you tonight the righteousness of God. I call you that you are part of the family of heaven. In the name of Jesus. All of the people who are just coming, you're welcome. God bless you. Just join that group that they are praying with. And just pray the prayer that they lead you to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, thank you for these precious ones that you died for. I decree and declare that tonight you receive by faith the abundance of grace, the gift of righteousness, and I declare that you reign in life. Go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. All of you in concert, I want you to follow the lady smiling at you with her hands lifted. Everyone, please follow her. And um, they will direct you to a few people to just follow you or praise the Lord. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.